Yeah, 400 speed is ridiculous. So they're kind of hard to catch, but Cat Molotov decided to take it a different direction and really is brawling with them, which I kind of enjoy. It's very neat, very different from normal land. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, God, look how fast that was! Great! <laughs> oh, wonderful Good. pop on the land. That's how fast it is. You see how far away Search Me was, and then all of a sudden they're just yeah. in your face. That is Kikaku Slide Pop Bunker. It is insanity. It is so gosh darn fast. And then what is this? <laughs> what is this? What the heck? Is the I haven't crayon seen this build eater. in a lifetime. <laughs> the Dude. Crayon Eater. I love that it's name. Holy crayon crap. Eater. I didn't know it was called Crayon Eater. That's so good. Crayon Eater, so will good. it feast or famine? Common spark. After that, it has half, half stagger. Now, something you have to keep in mind that while when Aphrodite is kicking, they can. Oh, Robin living on 1 AP! This is a bit more stagger! There it is! Robin takes the first phase! Eight seconds on the clock, 100 AP in the tank. Major AP, holy shit! Yep, it is time. This is the LCB tank. All hail the LCB tank! The first of many Rubicon Rumbles was an incredibly hype event I am very proud to have ran. This tournament resulted in some wildly heart-pounding games that I am very excited to show you all. Before I do, I'd like to shout out my co-commentators, Moby Geeks Out and Dirk Donk. Find their channels below. Also, please sign up for the preset tournament on the 20th, where you will only be allowed to use ACs from the preset tab. Join the Discord down below to stay up to date with more Armored Core 6 events and have a wonderful day. We got Captain Little Tuz with a Lammer Leg like build. Oh. This is now a $150 tournament. Thank you, the Puppy Rescue Dad. All right. But yeah, we got uh, we got Search P, who's one of the best Power Bunker players in the world at the moment. Like he is absolutely insane with uh with Power Bunker. Oh. And we're currently watching Cat Little Tubs, which I've really seen a lot of, but I like the Harris attaché on the uh, the lamb. That's pretty mm. neat. Also, there is no game oh, audio. Let me fix that real quick. This wait a minute. This this Lammer leg. He's using the blue. He's using an Archibus generator. That is interesting. With he is. I wonder what Archibus generator no is. It might, energy weapons. It might be VB twenty C. Let me check. Let me check the uh... yeah. My, that's my that's my assumption. But well, I have to admit that is an interesting choice indeed. Most lammer legs use the coral generator so they could stay in the air. I'm uh, checking. I'm checking what it is right now through the build channel in the Discord. Uh, they actually don't have a build submitted. I need to fix that. That's fun. Uh, anyway, <laughs> first super con rumble. We're gonna have some issues. Oh hey, there's the uh. Oh, but he little, misses the pile pucker. A little bit too. So I wonder if they didn't have enough energy for the Kikaku slide because they are running Kikaku on their build uh, just for that just for that pile bunker movement. But you know, the uh, the melee cancel that you can do with Pulse Blade, you can also do with Power Bunker. And it's pretty uh -huh, dang fast. I see. Which is Ooh. why... Uh... Oh, Cypher's shield is broken! That's pretty huge! Oh, and the Power Bunker! Oh, barely misses oh, it! He barely misses, just by an inch! <laughs> the, P the PA actually saved them there, because the PA activates gravity whenever you're staggered. Which is a pretty big deal. I nice love that both these players are rocking to Harris. Yeah, the Harris is a fun gun. It's really, really, really it is, so cool. Absolutely, I just don't like that it overheats after one one sh one charge shot. That's could just you, a personal thing, though. Could you imagine how Ooh, good it would nice be if you could kick. do it twice? That'd be incredible. Yeah, it, 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 to be fair, it would make the Curtis completely, completely like we, like useless then. I mean, comparison. you can make the Curtis do it like four times instead of just two, or is that say three? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You could just <laughs> <go> <laughs> pop, <laughs> they yeah, both shot at the same. <laughs> they both shot at the same time. Aren't Burzel yeah. such an NGI better for bunker bunker uh for bunker slide? Yes, but. If you're doing the Kikaku slide, which is a different thing that you can do with uh, with melee thrust, uh, where you just use the Burzel normally, and then quick, quick just cancel that into the punch, it's better to do on Kikaku. But uh, you want NGI to do the regular slide tech, which is where you just quick boost, and oh. then you cancel your quick boost with a charge. I know because I play Laser Blade, and Laser Blade loves slide tech. Do a good hair shot on that. I like the Adashe, because the Adashe is adding a lot of pressure to Cypher. And there it is. Oh. That's game. The punker instant death. That's the, that's the Kikaku slide. There it is right there. Amazing. Pile bunker slide is real and it is very, very strong. It is the best way to use pile bunker in my opinion. I think he's I think he's starting to get used to fighting uh stunning uh, the, the Lammer legs in the air, so like to like mm -hmm. adjust for that. Yeah, Lammer legs are very strange Ooh. right now in the meta because that you're at 400 boost speed, which is just insane. Like uh, when you're hovering. It's insane. Yeah, 400 speed is ridiculous. So they're kind of hard to catch, but Cat Molotov decided to take it in a different direction and really is brawling with them, which I kind of enjoy. It's very neat, very different from normal land. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, God, look how fast that was! Great! <laughs> oh, wonderful pile up on the land. That's how fast it is. You see how far away Search Me was, and then all of a sudden they're just yeah. in your face. That is Kikaku Slide Pile Bunker. It is insanity. It is so gosh darn fast. 
We are here on Bonne de Dunes A, which actually I do like this map pick from Captain World Tubs because it's way easier to kite on this map because it's so gosh darn big and the cover is a bit sparse. Um, there is a decent amount of it, but it's kind of spread out as you can see. Like there's like this crater over here on the left. They went for the. <laughs> Death already? It's been 15 <laughs> seconds. My goodness. That's the power of a, of a master of Kikaku Slide. He, he, yeah, he, like, I, I really believe uh, with the, you gotta kite with those lever legs a little bit. Like, I don't think it, you're gonna win a close range engagement with a shield, like, pile bunker build. No, you are not. You are not gonna win a close range Where engagement. Are Where are you looking at? Where are you looking? Where are you looking? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Kikaku is about. Surprise attack, but. Kikaku is 3,000 uh, melee speed faster than uh, than the than the next uh, the next one up, which is oh, <laughs> and that's game, dude. Wow, that was the fastest match I have seen in a while. I forgot to use my my little point system here, but that's two points for Search B, and that is game. We have Dez, the raid boss, versus Ipix. I'm I'm interested about this because like, uh, Ipix is running a dual LRA laser kite which is a very strong build. That build is very popular over in Japan. I want to see if they were able to kite this monster and just get some damage off and avoid those WLTs because WLT is a very scary weapon. And Dez is the only one currently in the competitive scene that uses it very, very well. You see some very interesting things here. Like Dez is looking for an opportunity to shoot his noodles and he's, and it's off already. But I like Ipix's use of cover. He's just slowly approaching Dez. Ooh, got a little bit of chip there. Dez has, uh, they have to approach now. Oh, but Dez decides to approach it's dead! Lands of Oh my god, the damage already! Good god. I think so far damage. hasn't had an opportunity to use his grenade his uh, grenade launchers. Ah, uses oh, there it, it now. is right Stack there. Dez. So some of Dez's build that we have to talk about, they don't use the, the normal PA, they actually use terminal armor. So all of this damage that uh that Ipix can rack up. You know, they won't have to worry about the stagger ball being reset or anything like that, but they don't have to worry about when they're actually trying to kill the raid boss that is Dez. They have to be very afraid of the fact that Dez just has a second phase, basically. <laughs> like, this is, like Sister Freed. Exactly. Well, I changed it to Slave Night Gale, the, uh, the OST we're hearing on stream right now. Got it, uh, got because, it. <laughs> because the Sister Freed one is a lot, it's a lot like slower than I remember it being. You can always go with the, the standard board Ooh. song. <laughs> that noodle, that uh, that hammerhead is really helping out being able to scan from so far away. Really helping Des here. The train is connecting. Ipix not really Ooh, sure Ipix what to is... do here. Yeah, because Ipix has a kite build, but you can't, it's really, it would be really difficult to kite against Des. His range is actually a little bit around 450 meters with this noodles. So that makes it a little bit long, oh, just to barely out of God. the SCS range. So this, this is not, a, this is not the, this is not a good matchup for Ipex, in my opinion. I don't think so either. It's no. a really tough one. Yeah, this is very difficult. Yeah, honestly, I, what I would is... what I would do with Ipex here is that I would because Dez's build is so scary, and you definitely cannot damage it. I would try to use the cover and kind of do a little bit of peekaboo stuff here, like it's like dodging out from behind a building, shooting your LRAs, then getting the heck behind the building again. Because Dez has no way of really dealing with someone behind one of these buildings. See, so Ipix has chosen a more direct approach, going for those ear shots and those mollies. Oh. Good God, that coral beam damage! Damage! My gosh! Oh no, no! Oh Dez my! The exact... solid train hits might have ended this round. And that was there a very strong read on on uh, Dez's part, being able to just shoot those trainers off the second that he comes from behind the building. They come behind the building. Very huge. Dez would do the space launch. There actually is a tech on this map with the noodle bait where you can rise off of that ramp over there. You see it on that building. Uh, you oh, can yeah, quick boost. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can quick boost on that ramp with your uh, with your Walter Cannons and be able to just like fly up in the air. It's very hard to do, but you can do it. It's very neat. I think Des is going to try to do it. <laughs> he saw the ramp. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, oh, no, he, he missed it. He missed it. That's <laughs> he so didn't sad. miss it, but he did, he did demonstrate one of the few techs that's to remaining. It. And because he was locked in, in the stance for a while, Ipex actually was able to do a lot more damage. Being able to punish Dez's stance is very important in this matchup. I have learned that from fighting Dez a billion times. Oh, big damage for Ipix! Oh, can he turn it around? Watch out, that that that, that oh, motion was gone. Oh, lost chance. It might be over. Damn, but I feel like Ipix was kind that of was understanding a... uh, that matchup more and more as they went. Like that, that was pretty dang close. I will say, almost got in the face yeah, that... too. 
Yeah, uh, that was as close as he, he got so far. So I think I much think like a FromSoft boss, you have to it. fight Dez a few times to really understand what it, <laughs> how to fight them. It is a very unique playstyle that only Dez really plays. We have a double lightweight matchup for you folks. We have a laser. We have two laser hangins and double Aurora, which is a, a favorite playstyle of mine. I absolutely love playing that. Then we have JC's really cool heatsink with double Viento, double Fasan. So we got some energy weapon gaming over here with double lightweight. So let's see if uh, if the fast Q can get away from those Vientos. I think that'll be the deciding factor in this matchup because you have a lot more range as the uh, as the laser handgun model here. Yeah, but JC's AC has so few defense, like sporting the Lammer core and such. Um, if he doesn't end things quick, if he doesn't end things quickly, he'll be peppered down really fast. Both have Lammer core, I believe. Yeah. Unless I'm mistaken. But the laser handguns are really, really effective against lightweight ACs that don't have too much Ooh. defense. Oh, but last the Fasan. That's some big damage. That's some big damage. Yeah, JC's gonna try to re reset the Stagger War. Manages it. Yeah, that that fast attitude recovery on the lightweights, really helping JC out here. Ooh, I guess I guess it's gonna be really tough for the fast because he has to get in really close for those laser handguns to really really work. And this map offers plenty of cover for the Auroras. Mhm. Mm and and of course because the fast Q is is losing this war at the moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> whoever has a lead, watch the uh, watch the the arrow above chat because whoever has AP lead, the arrow will go away from them. Whoever has less AP, the arrow will go towards. And you have to approach your opponent. You have a two minute timer. If the if your opponent has more AP than you and the timer runs out, you lose. So you have to approach when your opponent has more AP than you. Getting getting AP lead is super duper massive in this game because then you can afford to just hide behind a wall and wait for your opponent to get there. Or something similar, because yeah. they are forced to approach you. Oh, JCB's going in aggressively. Can he hit some Fasans? He's looking. To, he's looking to hit those Vientos to really get the stagger up. Because the thing, the thing about the Fasans is that you can, uh, you can pop it before your opponent pops from, from, uh, Pulse Armor, which was a very good Pulse Armor by Fast Q there, popping it before the Fasans could hit them, which I very much respect. The Fast actually has a P lead here by a decent amount. Oh, not anymore. I take oh, it back. Yep, I take it back. The Fasans completely erases <laughs> him back. from existence. My goodness. Good lord. That is a point for JC Tech. This is a really large map. Like, maybe um, it seems like the Fast is going to try to kite a little bit better with this map. But JC's mech is actually quite fast. So we'll see mm. if his kiting dreams will come true. They have to stay away from the uh, 130 minute, uh, 30 meters, like, Ocellus range. On, uh, on the Vientos, because that's the deciding match, uh, factor here. JC can try the best to snipe with Fasan, because Fasan has a really high personal speed, but uh -huh. it's the Vientos that are really going to make or break this matchup, because the laser handgun just, again, just has more range. So the entire goal of the fast right here should be to stay out of the Vianto range, which they aren't doing the best job of right now. About to get staggered. There it is. Ooh. I love that. Popping the Fasans, the frame they get the stagger. That was wild. More laser handguns being being fired. The Aurora's do connect, doing a decent amount of damage. I think and again, the issue is the fast is using um, like a like the one of the Archibus generators, so he doesn't quite have the energy load to get away fast enough mm -hmm. against JC's Coral generator and boosters. Like it's either choose a decent amount more damage or a, or better EN capacity, and that should be game. Oh, going for the oh. kick of disrespect! Oh, that's messed up, oh, JC. Oh my, that's. Yeah. That was mean. I know we didn't see that connect on our <laughs> screen, but that is just how spectator mode be sometime. Good that was messed up, JC. I expected better I expected better from you. JC it's... going for the emotional damage. <laughs> I mean hey I, I would be I would be emotionally damaged from that, are you kidding me? Instead of going for the easy for song, he just goes for the kick anyway. It's messed up. Both players sizing each other up, trying to find a really good engagement, but- Ooh, getting oh, the sniper with the Fasan! Manual A Fasan! The fast Q is now forced to approach here, a minute 30 on the clock. That, again, AP lead is such a huge part in controlling the pacing of the match. Which right now, the fast has AP lead, and is firing these laser handguns. This is exactly how fast we play this matchup, they should be assault boosting away now. Then you get out of here. Oh, but the oh, Fasan's connected! Oh, he's decided to stay in fight! Off the PA! They still have AP lead and they have PA advantage. Oh. They have a shield oh, no, no, no. and their opponent does not! The words are connecting. Laser Hangin's flying. This is, actually a this is actually a really bad situation for JC. He's unable to reset the stagger. Yeah, the words are putting on a lot of pressure here. 
Just want to play aggressively. If he has any hope of turning this around. Oh, the Fasan! The Fasan was got it. Got but it's not quite enough. The Fasan was got I think the Fasan is getting used to this. Yeah, that was so close. This is how important AP lead is. They were able to they were able to keep up the pressure because they had the advantage. They were able to force their opponent to approach. Here come the Auroras. They don't quite land yet. AC goes in for it aggressively. Assault boosting above Fast their part. I like it. Distance. Forcing those Vientos uh -huh. to ricochet. Very, very smart. All but fast. Oh, oh but he's not able to right get on top of them. All those, all those Vientos are connecting. I would pop PA right now. Oh, there it is. Dude. Oh, no. Oh, too late. The facade's already dude, took their took its. Oh, my God. The facade already took its toll. It's going to be a very hard match, uh, very hard uh, to come back from for the fast. But they, they have been proven to do it in that last match. Never mind. There goes the Fasan. Fasan is just too much. Good this is a very is nasty really build. Cause it's got against. like mid range threat. Like, we're actually they seeing, can actually hit. We're actually seeing Kosen on uh, VP. I think those VP 424 uh, four legs, I believe. The uh, the the midweight tension legs. The uh, uh, midweight, yeah, yeah. The, now the now they're midweight, yeah. Which is really interesting because we haven't seen a lot of that. Most people just, you know, go with Lamb because Lamb is very strong right now. But I'm kind yeah, of excited or, or to see these legs. Or... Yeah, people go with the extreme legs. They go with either the heavy quad or the light quad. The, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. These yeah, that, mid that, quads that. have kind of fallen out of favor. They were really popular before Lamb. Who missed the parry on the Majestic, it's unfortunate. Scoot. But those Fasans are now on cooldown. I, I have to admit, I, I didn't think so, like... Oh... The Kosen is on Ables a... is trying to close the distance. There's a Coral Gen here. Oh, he the kick it and the workers, Both of them! That was oh, on but, th th Not that much damage, though, like... Oh. It looks like a lot, but this is a quad with good energy defense and a lot of stability. The workers are going to have a tough time. Oh, that time explains a lot. Hurt. It's got the ephemera arms, mm. too. Yeah, you're right. Now, and I will the, say, and the barrel head. The Fables, actually, because I have played against Fables before a decent amount. Fables has a combo where they would do Wooger, Wooger into Harris, or Wooger, Harris into Wooger. It is a very scary AC. I saw an armor. Oh, I this was is not expecting that. Oh, yeah, it eats the full facade. This does not look good for Fables. And, oh, there it is. Majestic Kosen finds takes home the round. It. Mm -hmm. Fables just has to close that distance, has to use their speed to their advantage here and get very, very, very close to get that combo off with the Wooger Wooger yep. into, into Harris. It's a scary build because you want to stay in that close range bracket so that the Majestics aren't air bursting on you, but within that close range bracket, the Fasans are practically hit scan. Look at the movement from Fables here, dodging yeah, those Majestics. That's true. The close range, even even a even a lamber you know, even the lammer legs struggle to like dodge an extreme close range. Ooh, for good for manual aim for from that. That was fantastic. Pointing it towards the ground so we actually got connects. A lot of the time, it feels like you need two quick boosts to dodge those things in close range. Where Ooh, it's, so it's the, like Gil's Alula. The Harris, the Harris just uh, bail snuffed. It was inside the model, so it didn't actually activate. And there's the there's the Woogers. Assault armor, get rid of the left, pulse. But it's not enough. Assault armor, get rid of nope. the pulse armor. Going for a little bit chip Fables, the Harris. Fables is trying to reset the stagger war. Succeeds. Important, important, because uh, those facades, man, they're in the danger zone right now. That is near lethal AP. If if Fable gets if Fable gets staggered, it's over. Oh. Oh, but there it is. Fable takes it. Excellent. And we they have ourselves play, a game. Wins out. We have our we have ourselves a game chat. Goes to show, even if you have close range weapons, patience is still important. Oh, I think is, if they had just key. gone in, you know, if they had gone in at that high stagger, it would have been one majestic Fasans and then over. Mm -hmm. uh, that's absolutely true. Like, that's one thing I, I noticed about, like, really good lightweight players, like, using the same build as, like, another average player is that they're very patient. They know exactly when to fight. It's the same problem I fall into because I don't play lightweights that often. When I play a close range light in a 1v1, I do that. I make that mistake. And, uh, it makes Ooh. it impossible to go through a high AP, high damage build like this that can take three quarters of your AP bar. Kosen is like really that. cutting up their movement here. It just takes to look for Path for Fables. It takes one chain from Wooger to finish this off, though. Oh no, just one, one tick of the plasma might be over. Oh, but it doesn't work. There's a Can you turn this around? Add the extra Wooger. Oh, oh no, but it's just not enough. So it's close. It's just not enough. And Kosen takes the first round. And make sure to grab the tournament's roll. That's very, very important because I had the force, I had the force feed the tournament roll to a bunch of different players because they just, they were like, I didn't know, tank, I didn't know this was happening. It's like, you, I have a roll for it. That is the whole point.
You can bring a horse to a Discord roll, but you can't make it click it. That's true. That's very true. I've heard you know, I've heard that oh proverb my. before. Mm, it's an ancient. Hey, it's, a, it's an old proverb. Yeah, it's like you could you could bring a horse to a like, lake, but you can't make it drink or something. Something <laughs> like that. Unless it's thirsty, then you can't stop it. <laughs> it will drink, and you can't. <laughs> there is nothing you can do to pre prevent it. Ooh, Fables oh, no! Fables here. Fables eats both Majestics! Well, we were joking, yeah. Fables was getting cooked. I'd like to see what FCS Kosin's running, if you guys know. It uh, seems like Walt player to builds. Me. You can check the player builds channel. Right, it's probably PO5, I had to guess. PO5 is very strong with Majestics. Kosin is, Kosin is remaining high up in the air to prevent the to prevent Fables from getting in close. Kosin's really good at keeping like the distance right now. Oh. oh no, and the Majestics are just completely on point this round! Good God! When they find home, it can be so devastating. Yeah, Kosin was talking about it in chat earlier, saying that like Fables was too hard to hit, but I think Kosin figured it out. I think yeah, Kosin's... it's gonna be a timing thing. Yeah, Fables has to work on parrying those majestics and just getting in close, and trying their absolute best. Yeah. The facades are on cooldown. Yeah, this is Fables' like... chance. Fables dodging both the majestics, missing the kick. Unfortunate. Misses the kick, but gets the wooger. It's one of the workers. Does not hit the Harris though, which is unfortunate. Facades are charged and ready. Ooh, big damage on those facades! Oh, but the Wooger punches are coming in. Yep, when a player's not staggered, they can get out of it if they boost fast enough. There's and the Harris. Looks like Fables was able to. Wooger's popped. Ooh, AA right on top of them! But it does no stagger damage. Tetrapod OP. Oh, oh facades are oh, no, on Fables. light attack mode. Fables taking a ton of damage, and there it is! Oh, no! That is game. Oh, this no. Is why... Fables went straight into the plasma ticks. And this is why people do not run uh, <laughs> assault armor anymore. It was like playing like rock, a rock, paper, scissors, scissors, scissors <laughs> tournament, but your opponent can't change exactly. from their past <laughs> input. And uh, Japan would have oh a fit God. over that. It was very funny. I think that maybe maybe that's why they do best of ones. Yeah, honestly, that, that, there, there's a reason to have a build lock in best of ones. Which is very interesting. All right, so we're seeing a lightweight lamb versus the lobster. And it has and look a... at the booster on the heavier build. It's a freaking Burzel, because I told wait, you. Wait, oh, wait, what? It has to be. Mumsy just, Mumsy just purged both his back weapons. Wait, no, they right, That's, uh, Koro. Koro's gonna go for the oh, sorry, Koro, oh, sorry, Koro, 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 my bad, my bad. Yeah, Koro... They're against the lamb lightweight, so they can kind of just use the laser rifles. Look Ooh. at that, look at that. It's an Big eighth of the, the AP LRBs. without the LCS. Just a few hits, and Bumsy is already so low. Dude, I like yep. this new lobster. It's so much faster than the old one. Like, this is the, this is the I lobster build there. Thing. This is a lobster build that can chase down their a... opponent. This is very cool. Look at that! Well, he's, he's chasing a light lammer leg? What? Yeah, purge yep. the LCS really, really and just go for, go for speed. Purging has been a part of Armor Core PvP for a long time because it allows you to specialize and then uh, remove the debuff that that specialization gave you. I love oh. this red lobster build. This is awesome. PA coming out from both players here, but Chloro has PA the advantage. PA is gone. <clears throat> now, this is probably going to be a popular change oh. that a lot of the heavyweight builds do is you swap out the Archibus core for the Mind Alpha core because mm -hmm. it provides a lot of the same stats just in a smaller package. Yeah, 100%. I did the same thing with uh, my shotgun heavy, because my shotgun heavy is basically a larbster. Yeah, Only I, the weapons are different. I talked about how I because the of the Bursal change. nerf, because the Bursal nerf from 1.05, heavyweight, like super heavyweights would have to swap to be like, you know, 80k instead of 88k or 90k. Mm -hmm. That because, break point really matters now. Yeah, they, they really, really need the speed now, which is good. That, that's very healthy for the game, because before the Bursal nerf, they could have been just as fast with like a bunch more AP. <laughs> yeah, I think the <laughs> speed environment is a lot healthier now. The Lammer Leg is still a bit of a standout, uh, yeah. but things have definitely tightened up so that the fights can actually He's doing a really good job, but Lumsy's corner. Oh, but it gets out of the corner really fast. Can he make it out? Yes, they can. The AP Bum lead still in Bumsy's favor for now. It gets yeah, Bumsy's is fighting a lot better than he did before. I think he's, he got over the surprise of a of a heavy midweight, like so, catching up to him with yeah, the, the with the snail legs. Yeah, definitely on the heavier side. I'm actually while y'all commentate, I'm gonna check and see what the stats are on Chloe's build, because I can check. Sure that. thing. This is one of those reasons I wish we had the speedometer on screen because situations like this with a heavy heavy-ish biped. The speed is like one of the most important things about the build. Yeah, I wish I knew how fast points. exactly he was going. All right, I got it right now. It is. Uh, it actually has twelve thousand eight hundred and ten AP, which is insane. A uh, nineteen twelve stability. It's a hundred. Actually, it's a hundred K weight. So it's not. It's not as fast as I thought it was. I was. I assumed it was like 80, 80, uh, 80 K or ninety K. But I guess LCSs are really gosh darn heavy. But purging the LCSs makes them about you know ninety K weight or so. So they can get a lot faster because of that. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Look at that. So Bumsy's I love already, Bumsy might be really used to uh, this playstyle, so maybe Bumsy can start kiting a little better. 
LCBs oh. are a bit of a timing weapon too. They have a slower rate of fire and it's slower than the quick boost reload on those legs. And more than that, at this range, I don't even know if Thumbsy needs to be quick boosting. If you mm -hmm. do a wiggle like you used to do with ACBD glide boosting, you can avoid most damage at mid to long range. That's true, that's true. Extra energy. I, uh, yeah, just, just through uh, pure speed alone. And I love the uh, the use of the PFAL to just get rid of Pulsar because that's one of the biggest uh, uses of that new weapon. Yeah, or PA interference is. never really gets brought up that much, uh, but it can really make Ooh. a difference in these 1v1s. Big damage from Vumzy there. But the AP lead is only just barely, just one hit will be equal again. Mm, Chloro trying to get as close as possible to them. Yep. Getting some good LRB shots in. Almost has AP advantage, but don't. Needs to watch out for that stagger bar. I'm hoping that Chloro is playing on hard lock. If you play soft lock like this, it's a lot easier to position yourself on intercept mm. course rather than the direct course. That's right, soft lock is better mathematically if you just keep your opponent within the uh, center of your screen. Hard lock is better if you are if you struggle with that, which is why controller players are uh, are you you know, always use hard lock. Mm -hmm. And especially at mid to long range, that accuracy bonus really matters. Oh, the yeah. Lammer legs have a big hitbox, so close range you could totally get away with hard locking. But in this kind of interaction, Ooh. it's soft lock all day. Oh, big damage oh, from Chloro! Oh, Chloro takes it. Oh, for too long. Just a few back to back dual, dual laser shots is all it takes. All right, we are back on this funny map. We have the Red Lobster from Chloro, which again, purchased those LCSs to get that extra 10K weight. Yep, not even gonna try it. Not even gonna hazard the attempt. It was already hard enough to catch Vumzy with them purge. I don't see, I don't see Chloro keeping them for any reason. The room matchup. for error would be so much higher with those LCSs back on, but you would get a lot more reward out of it. The issue is that you'd have to be stance while firing them, which means you'd have yep. to like stop moving entirely. And every time you stop moving, Vumzy is using that 400 boost speed from the, from the land legs to get farther and farther away from you. Yep, within a few seconds, Vumzy will be three, four, five hundred away, and that's way outside of any FCS's ability to track. Exactly, unless you're running like a, a really long range one, which like, why are you doing that in this game? No one does that. <laughs> Sniping doesn't exist in Armor Core 6. The, the, those yeah, FCS's that FCS is kind of just like a token gesture. <laughs> It's like if we add a sniping cannon or something, or we buff the absolute heck out of the, uh, <laughs> the Harris. Yeah. Yeah, just in case everyone hates how this game plays, we can make it different because we have it in already. <laughs> sure. I would like a sniper cannon. Any kind of long range that isn't a missile, I'd really appreciate that. I do like how Vumzy is using the explosive thrower to keep their opponent off of them. So basically they, what they're doing is they're they are doing a, uh, they're basically missile kiting. But the second you get close, boom, explosive Thor. I like it a lot because do you really need the fourth missile launcher? No, you do not. If you're kiting well oh. enough, no. In 3v3, maybe where burst matters and you have to help your team. But in a one where you have two minutes to work and it only matters that you have a lead. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of people actually run a uh, hammer on the setup, but Bumsy has gone with the explosive Thor because it just does more. It, it's, it just has bigger range. Yep, Which big if, range, big uh, sweeping attack against assault Chloro boosting where you can only go side to side. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. good play by Chloro there. I like the idea of uh, hiding inside of that area to reset their stagger and then go in. That was very smart. Mm -hmm. Hiding is about the only way you're going to get that done into heavy. Elsis is going away. Not, again, not even going to play with it. No, I, no way. And it'd be nice if we could see their FCS targeting ridicule. Because so God, often I'd I love to love see, it, like, just how fast they're getting back on target, how well they're timing their shots. God, I, uh, because this is really important with these lasers. If they ever shoot while they're blue locked, it's waste. It's wasting three seconds that they earn mm -hmm. by chasing. Exactly. I, I just swapped to Vumzy's perspective, and man, it is scary seeing that big mech just ra just rush you down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's too. The assault boost jets pointing off in sharp edges as it rushes at them. It exactly. looks really great. Dude, it, this game is Vumzy so also has a, Yeah, Vumzy has such a has a coral generator, meaning that like, uh, like you got you really got to control when you could land for that two three second weakness moment of weakness. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would do it right now because Chloro is just kind of yeah, his yeah, time. yeah. Which actually, I like that taking the stagger there, just like resetting your bar by getting damage. Oh, which I like, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Vumzy yeah, yeah. has to come towards you because again, they have AP lead, which is super duper massive in this in this game. Super duper. Yep. I don't think I've said super duper in years. <laughs> yeah, the, way, the way it used to work is that you know it was just based on how much AP you had, so the lightweight always had to come to the heavyweight, and then once mm. they got the lead, they could kite the heavyweight. Now, you know, it starts out even, and now the heavyweight has that advantage, just like in Classic. 
And oh my god, that trade this went looking... so heavily in Coral's favor. Big oh, LCB damage there. Good for Bumsy. Or L oh. LRB. Oh, and there it goes. And it's over. That Laura managed is to get it. right in the pocket there. Amazing game. That was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. All right, so we have a lightweight melee build with Pal Bunker and Pulse Blade. It was going to be a very scary combo with that zoom in. There you go. That's much better, Dirk Thong. Thank you. And then we found with double Kawa Solid. I, I do what does this build do besides just, I guess, pray okay. for level three to hit? Level two I'm charge? the heavy expert, so I got this, right? So what they're going to okay. do is they're going to charge up both Karasawas, and they're going to assault boost at the enemy. And they might try to kick, and if they kick, they're going to blast a Karasawa. If they miss, they're going to blast a Karasawa. If they miss, they're going to blast the other <laughs> Karasawa. <laughs> what is going on? Fast really went for it. Oh, there's the Karasawa. Big damage. Fa huh? Dude, Fast is I just going for it. I think they may have may have missed their swap Just try there. go for the raw a pile bunker. No, I do know a bit of Moonlight blade. because they, uh, I, I see them I see them every once in a while in my fight clubs that I, I will sometimes do. And uh, and and they are a big fan of just raw bunky people. Oh, good. the Fast is not having a good time. Well, they Turn are a fan of lab. raw bunky. The... Which is unfortunate because like, they could have gotten the bunk there and evened it up. Dude, why are they just going for it? They're insane. They're insane. That, that's I... the only explanation. They're insane. Hilariously, Oof, that, was... that was a good time to go for it, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah, but unfortunately, he's right literally on top of the fat man. Did not work. Oh my god. Alright, here's what I want from Soft. I want multiple attack animation based on where the enemy is positioned. That's all I'm asking for. That would be for. very just nice. Do like, uh, like, like, spiking downwards with the pile bunker? Oh, That'd yeah, be like amazing. Lincoln smashed so it with sick. his sword. Oh, be incredible. Oh my god, like, 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 like Link's down He's air? going it wrong. Oh yeah, it's not working out, Double though. Double Kawasawa. Ooh. You gotta get it. You gotta get in while the while the Kawasawa is going down. That's the only way. Okay, that's why you win this matchup. You have to wait for the Kawasawa to go, and then you have to dodge it, and then you have to go in while they're on cooldown because it takes a long time to charge up. Uh oh, the Pulse Blade Zim combo doesn't stagger. Uh, <laughs> that is a bad sign. Heavy. They are too heavy. You gotta get. You gotta do another Zim first. Ooh, very close on that on that Zim. That about that Zim. About Pulse Blade. Ooh. But the PA oh, of that, uh, of the barely too late. straight through that PA. Ooh. Oh, the Karasawa, like, like, oh, yeah, the Karasawa regular the too much. Did you see how the Bunker popped off, right, as he died? The Paul Bunker activated as he was dying. Hopefully so. I feel like if they played a bit more patiently and didn't just go for raw bunks 24-7 like a freaking madman, they might be able to do something here. But they're, they are, they, they just see red at all times. They see red every single time. They're within like 10 meters of the opponent. They're going for a raw bunk. Yeah, I wonder if the fast is playing uh, like Doom Eternal music right now. Almost definitely. So, something super duper like <laughs> quick. <laughs> I keep saying super duper. What's going on Ooh, there's the Kawasawas. Again, you oh, got it. Both fully charged. And they're getting away trying to get those to cool down. Ooh, good damage though. Good hit. It's not how much stagger, unfortunately. Yeah, no, you got to combo with something to keep that cumulative impact. Yeah, Ooh, one Kawasawa lands. 10% versus 90%. Not working out well. Ooh, Coral Shield parried it. This is... It's raining now, Kawasawa. It's the raw bug! They hit it! They hit it! They hit it, but unfortunately, it only did around 30 Dude, to 40% damage. Dude, a player like Moonlight doesn't and care. That is... uh, they look like they, they, they were trying right there. I landed it. That's all I care about. They don't care about <laughs> winning. They don't care about losing. They don't care. As long as they land the pile bunker, that's all they care about. That's the us all the don't mean they need. Yep. This is a what coral is confused pilot that is Fenrir, not going. No. Fenrir with the disrespect, trying to kill it, just kicks. Oh, we've got them both punching oh and God, kicking here. We've got a boxing again. match. Oh my God. And, <laughs> yes, this is how all fights should end. And now we just play they, the game. Will it take they, two they minutes? They don't care anymore. They got the... I wonder if these players are talking in Discord. Like, if you hit a raw bug, then I will just purge all my weapons or something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if these players are talking in Discord. Still not an easy matchup for, for the fast, considering how lightweight the AC is. Yeah. Yep. There could have been a gentleman's challenge here. PAs, both players. And they're going at it like it's Fighter Z. Oh my god. Fast is Bobble to run. Punch. Yo, Punch only tournament win. I'm gonna get those comments now. Be like, oh, now what are you gonna the... do a tournament where you can only use Punch? It's like, that sounds you know the so bad. You know the worst part is, like, I feel like tanks would still win that anyway. Well, I, I mean, think so, yeah. Fast has Basho arms. I'll be honest with you. That's true. That's true. We have an advantage here with the Basho, as long as they don't trade and get staggered. <laughs> No, if only they, they could get the, the reset. Like that? like that? Oh no, and yeah, it's 
over. Aster's curse coming from the sidelines, man. Sorry. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of an interesting dance from uh, that man here. That is the best feature of those legs. No other leg can do that. Speaking of connects, we have Ludlow and Estugian on our friend Kasane here. Or Moriety is what they signed up with. And then we have Rivers with Golden Boy, double, a VBO build with Laser Dagger and Shao Wei. Which I'm excited about. I love that skull on the face. That's incredible. That was sick. I want that decal. It's a very cool decal. I like the, like the, the rough on it. You know, like the, uh, the scratches and such. The wear and tear, what I mean. The Orphan versus the Little Astronaut. <laughs> the Orphan? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, the, the AC's name is Orphan. I realize that. A lot of Stalker bows on, uh, on Kasane here. Which is Ooh, unfortunate. Laser the, the Orphan is struggling laser to... Dagger. And they get a raw punk! Why? Uh -huh. Why? Why? The the combo. And the AA. Oh, oh, perfect assault armor counter by Little Astronaut oh, there. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? They just both went for the raw melees. What? Yeah, and that's how the bursty things go down. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. Insanity. Why would you do that? I love these bursty fights because the VC just turns into... What's... Yeah, exactly. And there's the, there's oh, the damage it again. It doesn't matter how early you pop it because the laser dagger hits anyway. Good correction on that, though. Good correction. Because they, they would have missed it. They just went for the laser dagger immediately after the AA because they were above the opponent. But they, they decided to step to the side a bit, get the more horizontal plane. I want to see more manual <laughs> reloading from this machine gun <laughs> user. Manual reloading yeah. is super important when mm -hmm. you have any kind of larger magazine. It's, even with Vientos, it's really helpful. Oh, with Vientos, it's the most important oh, thing. The reason true. why Vientos are meta right now is because, and on these lightweights is because you can get within that 130 range and just dump your entire mag. If you're missing like one or two bullets, you're screwed. Especially against like heavier builds. Mm -hmm. oh, Orphan actually lands a bit of an, oh no, but. You can't PA like that. You, have to just take, you just have to take the damage. You got to PA before you get so, how, so people will complain about Laser Dagger AA being like OP or whatever. How you how you fight it is you're supposed to PA early. You have to PA early so you actually get your benefit out of your PA. Yeah, you need to be in a situation where you can escape from the AA. If you mm -hmm. can't escape from the AA, your PA is not an expansion. It is just a death button. Exactly. So, you're, you're just yeah. like, I like such. to take more damage here. It's like that, that is mm -hmm. what you're that's what you're telling yourself. You want more combo here. It's like, <laughs> you are allowed two more laser dagger swings. Go ahead. Exactly. Like so, like, <laughs> right now, it, even right now, wouldn't even be a waste. I would pop it now. There. Exactly. Perfect. Right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Perfect. very good. Very good. Wonderful. Adaption by the Orphan. Let's should we get some damage in here. I think it's really just, like, the Ludlow and the Estuchin just not doing enough tagger or damage. I would go for some, like, like kicks here, maybe, even. Just, just to get no, your like, uh, the or Orphan tried, but the, the little astronaut's just too fast. Yeah, not to mention, like, the Shao Wei is really helping, like, just, like, uh, Doing really a lot of work, damage. and it's all over her. There we go, Rivers takes it. 2-0. Very explosive game, very fun game to watch, and I hope I see Mariety uh, come in some more. I think I think they're a cool player. That's a neat it's build. It's nice seeing like a it. Gatling gun uh, performing in tournament. I haven't had the joy of watching bullets fly everywhere during matches for <laughs> quite a few patches. <laughs> that point. is true. If that ever happens at the end of a tournament and then like, Ooh, everything shuts off, I didn't, I'm I didn't out. check the builds. This is a Zim Haldman, which is interesting. With an, R an RJ too, so it's going to be a lot of kicks. And Laser Rifle Kai coming from Gecko. The unloved Laser Rifle. That thing is so cool looking and just middling it's one of my favorite yeah, to... yeah. it's one of my favorite looking weapons in the game i think it looks awesome now i wonder what their decision was with picking it um style or features because it's basically a, a laser pistol plus right it's not quite the lra it's not quite the laser pistol one second gotta fix some things with the issue with the uh got a ramen fixed Maybe? i would think just for the range I think that's like the main advantage it has over the laser pistol, is you won't deflect as easily. The issue is that like you either make a build that's able that's able to carry two LRAs, or you make a build that's able to carry two laser pistols. It's like it's like this weird middle child that doesn't like do super great. It oh, seems to be doing well. It's got the AP advantage right now. It's finding home. It's you know yeah. the consistent hits at mid range. Yeah, because I'm not saying it's bad. Because the I'm verticality. Saying it's weird to build yeah, definitely. Yeah. The I verticality. Yeah, at first. Yeah. No, go for it, Moby. You talk about the oh, verticality. No, I was gonna say the, 
That's not the verticality of um of Gecko's build is it's it's putting it's giving the fast a lot of trouble because you can't really land kick so much vertical distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the laser pistol charge attack is basically self-immolation. I mean, it, it it's yeah, five it's, standard it's shots, good. but you have to hold still. Or, if you have two of them, you could just fire five shots, six shots actually, in the same amount of time. Uh, the, do uh, I think DPS with two laser that, pistols is better. Uh, do I think in check to actually it does out, out damage the LRA because of 1.05 nerfing the LRA. So does out DPS the uh, the LRA now, which is very cool. Sweet. I'm down. That's how it should be. Remember when I was saying that the lower Alpha Strike weapon should have higher DPS? Yes. Yeah. I'd be down with that. <clears throat> so we're seeing a very cat and mouse gameplay, but this is a this is a mouse that has to look at its opponent. So we're seeing a more mid range fight, a lot more trading. Yeah, honestly, the fast fight just needs to very close to getting staggered. The fast fight needs to rush them down a lot more. Like they need to get a, a horizontal plane going, like horizontal. Uh, uh, like they need to have their their ACs both be horizontal and just like go in for an assault boost kick. They need that right now, because there mm -hmm. is no there is no shield on Gecko's build, so they can go for a kick. That's what yeah, we don't see a lot of RJs. Good drop. Um, the reason we don't see a lot yeah. of RJs is because kicks are kicks are the, kick is the only real reason to run an RJ, and shields just completely validate it because you just parry the kick. Yeah, 100%. And a vertical play style makes it very difficult, too. Like we're seeing here, mm -hmm. they can't quite get the angle for the kick to happen. Which is unfortunate. It is? Your your AC is white, gold, and blue. Yeah, that's my favorite gold color is orange. scheme. That's gold is orange. That's my favorite color scheme. <laughs> my favorite color, like standalone color, is orange. My favorite okay, color scheme okay. is white, gold, blue. I, I'm, a, I'm an interesting and complex person, Moby. You can't, I can't just choose one thing. <laughs> Can't put Striker in the box. My mom's an he art puts teacher, himself in a and box. now a professional striker artist. Box. Yeah, the Striker <laughs> box, the soundproof box that I wish I was in right now, but sadly I am not, so it is echoey. Yeah, my mom's my mom's an art teacher, and my uh, well, she was an art teacher. And now she's a full-time artist, so like I know colors. Uh, kind of. Nice. <laughs> I use a website that knows colors. <laughs> I, I also use a website that knows colors because it knows better than I do. Anyway, echo in the, the lead match. here. We are, yeah, we are <laughs> extremely off topic, and that is my fault. Again, again, Gecko is using the, that severe verticality to just, just remain untouchable. Mm. I would have liked to see Ooh, those Lady missiles shielded. Ooh, very end, though. I'd like to see those missiles shielded if they're not assault boosting. Might as well throw that shield up. Yeah, Aurora's yeah, doing might a lot as of well the work. Use it. I agree with Oreo in chat here. Aurora is doing a lot of the work. Aurora is a very strong missile whenever you can keep your distance from your opponent. That's why people are rocking it now to deal with lambs in, uh, in ranked. Is now they've got PA missile? interference, so that has an effect on the shield if they get shielded, right? Uh, I yeah. believe PA works very weirdly, where it's just a stat that exists. It's not actually a, a real mechanic in the game. Oh, fantastic! But don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> I haven't watched the Shrite video on it. <laughs> but apparently, yeah, you, you, haven't, with the you, haven't you haven't studied. I haven't studied. No, Plus? dude, I I look at Armored Core so much, like so many hours in the day. I am not going to watch more Armored Core. Yeah, that's the ca that's the content creator syndrome. You just you can't watch it. I'll I'll watch Armor Core streams, I, but I can't watch like videos, dude. It's, well, I have the Mid Striker. I have a different problem. Like I I'm so busy editing Armor Core videos that I don't get to play the freaking game. Yeah, I understand how you feel, dude. I really do. Like, I, I I've been think. editing this video for three straight days, and it's about Armor Core, and I haven't touched the game in three days as a result. <laughs> oh, you should have entered. Should have entered the tournament. You could have played. You're pretty good. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the scholar just cannot keep up with this gecko build. I, I I really do like scholar's build. I feel like just lining up kicks more would help out a lot. Because that is again why you choose uh, RJs. RJs have really bad defenses and really bad stability, but the kick is fantastic. I know, right? They're, they it's, want that is, kick shotgun is, combo. Mm -hmm. But it's not. But this verticality, nope, it just cannot happen. Not with this. Wonderful kind of movement, gecko though. Because the thing is, we talk about scholars moving a decent route, but gecko's movement has been fantastic because they are forcing Perfect. scholar Perfect. to not be able to go for the kick, which is exactly I'm the goal out of, of energy matchup. all the time and I'm not yes, able to get on a, a horizontal plane. Very well done. Very well done. Mm. That is very important. You have to like really screw their FCS over. Yeah, and good luck screwing Ocellus over is the issue. This is a very That's bad why you need for to. Roman. So a little, bit of to... a little bit of background. So Aphrodite is a very strong player. Got the top 16 in the 1K tournament, and Raman got ninth. Now Raman is running a worse build for this matchup than they have been running, and Aphrodite got a lot of new tools, a lot of new tools in 1.05, uh, including the new LCBs, which they're a huge fan of. So we're gonna see a lot of LCB here, and if Raman can dodge the LCBs, they only have to worry about MLTO4, which is not a big deal. 
Ooh, that's AP lead for Ramen. Ramen can now just chill and get, and have the Aphrodite come to them. Aphrodite has to approach now. Yep, there's the soup. I mentioned it before. It provides the, the, the an option. Is, one LCB has landed. And that's it. <laughs> that's Isn't the it? advantage gone. Yep. Isn't it? Because look at Aphrodite. Like, all oh, the LCBs. LCBs gosh darn strong. Yeah, I was just talking about the AP lead. It's it, One shot was enough to swing it. Yeah, I mean, and, LCBs uh, are just so gosh darn strong. They're ridiculous. Are you ready to climb the wall, Ramen? Because we're looking at one. <laughs> climb the wall. Yep. Now, yes, there he goes. Oh, no, no, no damage on Ramen LCBs. there in that whole exchange. And there it is. Yeah, Ramen's gonna have to adapt his battle plan a little bit. Af like, I, I think Aphrodite used um, like the map to his advantage that time. Yeah, Aphrodite yep. is very strong when it comes to movement. Like you can see, their tank movement is, is very, very strong. That they are Jeez. making this, they are making this, uh, this Born Mesa look like boat. Yeah, every tank's a hover tank if you do it right. Yeah, if you know how to kick. <laughs> Aphrodite actually barely losing AP lead here, which means they are forced to come to Ramen because Ramen can just rat this out for one, one minute and forty-five seconds. That is Technical possible. There. Arcing Ooh. the missiles over the edge. That was very cool, Ramen. I'm gonna swap to Ramen POV. Ramen POV is scary. Oh god. This terrifying the behemoth edge. of an AC. Ooh, Ramen making one like fantastic use of cover here. Ramen's really Ooh. thinking. Oh, oh split. Yo! And right back into cover. Ramen in a huge AP lead here. Again, if there's one player that can do it, it is Ramen Rook. Yeah, Ramen, one of the best lightweight play. players, if not the best lightweight player in the world. Yep, doesn't oh, matter if the LCB perfectly oh, tracks LCB you if you're behind a wall. The LCB Ooh. did connect, but they still have AP lead because of how big of an advantage they got. Careful, Ramen. I don't, I don't agree with that play at all. That was very spooky. And you were risking LCB. Ooh, speaking oh, of LCB, no. there it is. Now the, now, the, now the HP lead is to Aphrodite. Yeah, she was Ramen now is forced to go in. I would have I would have just ratted. I would I would have stayed away. Let make the tank at, come to you. At the same time, the plan hasn't changed. Corner play. Very much so. You, you have Ramen's gonna to go for the stagger. See, makes I sense. think what happens is if Ramen runs, the, the tank has time to get in the air. That's, that's a good point. Actually, it's close. Yeah. Ramen can punish going up into the air. So the answers are ricocheting. That's a, that's a big deal. Twenty seconds of the clock. Uh oh, Ooh, the tank can't land. Oh no! That was an insane Robin kick. Robin may not have time to. That oh kick no! The, the stagger has been reset. That kick won them the game. That was an insane kick from Aphrodite. That was ridiculously no, good. No, that was perfect. And Robin has to go for the damage. There it is. Oh, and a solid shot from Dude, both of Robin those laser cannons. This. This, and is not, this, match. this is not a. Uh, this is not a, a solved matchup. I feel like Robin can do this. Okay, let's see it. Now I will say, soups are better the farther distance away from your opponent, which means soups are going to be a lot better on this longer, on this larger map. After the hugging the wall here, which I actually really like that idea. Roman actually getting Fun hit by fact, those missiles. Knocked by your legs have just enough jump height to hop on top of that bridge. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Go for the kick again. LCB does connect, which is a big, big deal. Now, I will say something about the LCB that people don't really recognize oh. is that it actually does a lot of a. Uh, oh my god! Oh my goodness! Aphrodite is playing out of his mind. And my god! Just going full player. aggro. That kick was beautiful from Aphrodite. Good god! Hand kick is real clumsy. It feels hard to land. So any of these connecting is pretty impressive. Aphrodite joked about stat check, but it's these kicks oh that are winning goodness. them this match. Like it is the movement. Yup, stopping Ramen for a moment just allows this tank's awful, awful amount of damage. Ramen, to just Ramen baited hit. out one of the laser cannons, but mm -hmm. ooh, it's just one laser cannon away from instant death for Ramen. Yeah, I don't think that soups can do enough damage in 60 seconds. They're getting the stability up, though. That's what you have to do. Get it within oh. one magazine. LCB from around the corner. Oh, the peekaboo! Aphrodite is really wanna, playing this peekaboo game really well. I just want to talk about how well Aphrodite is playing here. Like again, it is not it is not just oh get stat checked, hee hee ha ha, gg. Like Aphrodite is playing very well. Like these kicks have been wonderful. That is why this damage has really connected. Because we saw in that in that uh, second phase of that first game that like Ramen can dodge these things unless Aphrodite hits a kick. And the second Aphrodite hits a kick, the pacing of the match completely changes. Yep, I'm glad Ramen's been streaming lately because I've been able to watch Ramen fight tanks like this. And, you know, it's not Aphrodite. 
Yeah. I've seen Robin do some scary things I today. Have, I mean, Robin's, Robin's video that they're uploading, I believe, tomorrow, shows them fighting builds like this and just eating them alive. But Aphrodite's just playing very well. Aphrodite's one of the better players that we have. Again, top 16 in the six, in the uh, the 1K tournament. Yeah, the, the stats help the play style, but you have to have the skill to back it up. Yeah. And Aphrodite is showing how patient aggression and using corners well can make a tank. Oh, they the bridge. Shockingly mobile, the kick. Big mistake from Robin there. Ooh, good damage though. But the PA advantage, Rama's stuck on the bridge again. This terrain's really screwing him over. He did reset the stagger mostly. They stagger down and they have AP lead if they just play really patiently here. They can do this. Oh, but they ate all four of the, all, of, all those missiles. All those with your miss. Look at Roman dodging LCBs. 45 oh, seconds, Roman. They got their minds right now. This is Some... doable. It's the missile dodge game. You fought Baltius. You can do this. <laughs> 30 seconds. Here comes an LCB. Roman teasing out just a little bit more damage, but look, the, the needle Bring isn't moving much. And look at what's being risked. Oh, never mind. Look at that. You talk about the needle not moving much, but there it is. There it is. Just that, mu just that much safer. You know, one laser rifle, one laser cannon safer. Ooh, here we go. Ramen has the AP lead. He only oh, has to do run. Ten, ten seconds, just chill. Just chill, Ramen. My heart can't yeah, no, take this, it. No, this, no, no, this, Ramen has this round. Oh. Yep, Aphrodite wanted to put it down to the wire to avoid any oh, the possible LCB mistakes. Hail Mary. The charge LCB Hail Mary. Oh, Ramen played out of his mind with that bridge strat. My goodness. Imagine. Good now that's Lord. the Acellus though, guys. That's the Acellus. They don't have that oh. mid-range lol cannon. That's true. There, right. is, there is no way they're hitting that. They'd have to like, I wonder if that was manual lane because I, I would leave it, it would have to be. <laughs> Dude, that's the only way you hit a mid-range. I, I use these cannons a lot in my three climbing with Ocellus just like this, and you cannot shoot the mid range. You have to get right up to your opponent and let it go. Roman getting a lot of stagger build up on, on those Vientos. The soup actually doing really well. It's curving around the bridge, which I think find really fascinating. Wow. Wow, I did not know it could Roman do that. Roman needs to reset that stagger Creative bar. use of the flight path. Oh, there it is. Roman really going in aggressively. Big damage. No, the no PA. Dude, the soup's adding on just a bit more damage at the end there. I think Raman has figured out how to play this matchup against Aphrodite, but Raman really needs to get, uh, get away and get that stagger bar reset, and there it is. Yep, take advantage of the fact one, that tanks can't jump. Away from death. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. I, that's a good point, Aphrodite. Like, a good point, Dirk Dog. Tanks can't jump. I didn't yep, think about and that. All Raman needs is just enough vertical leap to get on top of that bridge, and what I tell you about knock dryer legs, it's exactly enough. Just barely. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Well played. Pulse armor comes up with the all, damage. All Robin has to do now is just run for a minute. Yeah, yeah Robin had pulse armor available. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't even risk it. This is this is this is the this could be the last phase of the game. Robin needs to Robin needs to right here. Robin needs to get away for 45 seconds. Oh, the LCB is connected. That's very scary. This is very. Oh my just goodness. Needle still comfortably in Robin's favor. 30 seconds on the clock. Kick misses over Ooh. the bridge again. Another LCB connected. That was huge. Gotta pay the troll toll if you want to get near hey, Ramen. Dude, the soups are doing so much work. <laughs> Ramen, Ramen was so smart to bring them. Oh, look yeah. at the uh Oh, oh, oh AP lead. no! And the HP lead is back to the missile. Oh, no, oh, they, they got it back. They got it back. Oh, they got actually, back. No. Soups, soups no, MVP. Ramen soups MVP. Is one, one hit away from instant oh, death. Oh, the missile's hit. That was so close. That was so close. Incredibly well played by close. both players. That was wonderful. Oh my, Very wonderful movement game. from both players there. That was insanity. That was insanity. The, cl the classic charge Hail Mary LCB finding home. My gosh. We got an explosive tetrapod from Pillager. We have the medium weight tetrapod legs, which is very cool. We've seen those twice now, which is very neat. They were circuited with a heavy, yeah. heavy biped Zimmer and Rushdown, which is a very strong build style, but it has a coral missile on it, which is very cool. I think the shotgun build has a good matchup here. They can shield the bazooka reliably uh, without, you know, it has that air burst. It's hard to avoid mid range. You might as well just shield Thanks. it, right? I would if I was a heavyweight. Yeah. I'm not trusting that burst quick boost to get me out of the way. Trying the way oh, you're around the boat, uh, on the building there. I like this Xylem pick because as you can see, Pillager can die and just like hover around this area. Also, do we see one, two, three, four, five boosters on Pillager? Is this a water strider? Yep. So if you don't know what Water Strider is, it's uh -huh. a build that's built that's built to be in hover mode and use the uh, the really long quick boost of one two three four five or a PO four booster and it's like do exactly what they just did right there. You see this Whoa, movement? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're shooting like two to three hundred meters almost. It's like a massive reposition. 
It's There's a vulnerability strong. period after each quick boost that can be punished, Ooh. but Good damage during from those the quick missiles. boost, Nice kick gone. as well. Star Ooh, Kingdom, I believe, has not used their expansion yet. It's very huge. Now, the reason you'd use these boosters in particular is to make space Ooh, like this. So in situations where your enemy has a close-range weapon or melee, you can get out of its effective range Dude, or its reach. That that explosive thrower charge was beautiful from Pillager there. That was it just absolutely wonderful. Knowing when to hold them and when to fold them with that weapon is really, <laughs> really important. Because if your opponent goes up, that sideways sweep ain't working. Got a lot of missiles coming in. Star Cannon. Oh, I, I actually did not get the PA on time. Wow, Pilliger actually playing this map really well, using cover to like have the missiles curve around it. Really that well movement, played. That movement was ridiculous from Pillager there. We're, see, we're seeing yeah. we're seeing some very good water shredder play here because again, that is a very it's a play style that does exist and is very powerful, but a lot of, a lot of people play it because it's very awkward to get used to, especially when you're used to just like pressing control and using assault boost to like boost your zims or uh, playing something like tank kick something like that. It's a very different way to play the game. So we don't see a lot of players yeah. actually using the build style, but here we are. Pillager is using a good kick tech there to fall during the uh, during the stagger. You didn't know if you uh, if you are in the kick animation while you get staggered, you will start falling down. The gravity will affect you, which is Pillager very important. With the wonderful counter with counter aggression. Wow. Yeah, be careful over pits when you're kicking when you're near stagger. It can end yeah. very uh, awkwardly. <laughs> now there's an interaction here I want to point out. Uh, okay. With one, two, three, four, five, you get that massive boost distance, right? And they're against a Burzel assault boost. But what stops you from assault boosting? Doing a 180, right? Mm -hmm. These one, two, three, four, fives can shoot them behind the Burzel user and pull them out of their assault boost combo. Yeah, you, you can just go like right behind them, like right there. You yep, dance you around your boost, opponent is that. very important. And look, look how fast they are uh, <laughs> with the one, two, three, four, five booster. This dancing on this building, I like it a lot. But they're so close to getting staggered here. It's a super efficient booster too. It has almost no boost cost compared to something like an Alula or NGI. Or a PO4, which is usually what people run on uh, on Water Strider, and that should be game. There it is. The Heavy Mipad mm -hmm. doing a lot of kick damage, because kick, again, is based off of weight. Mm -hmm. And this is 100% a winnable matchup for the Heavy Biped because when you run quad legs, there is a, a stat that's not listed, and it's your hitbox. It's well, very big. The good thing and about, shotguns oh. are a spread weapon. Mm -hmm. the, the good thing about Heavy Biped with shield, with a dual zim, zim and rushdown playstyle, is that it can technically win any matchup. You know, without, you know, bugs and stuff like that, like 1.05 tank bug. Uh, you have the tools. You can get within range, you can block burst, and you can do burst. Exactly, yeah. You can punish staggers, you can extend combos. It's It's got a nice list of tools. Do that coral missile! It's not putting in work. I feel like this map choice is very bad for the coral missile, which is unfortunate. 100%. Yeah, Breaking coral missile with real cover use is so the far. best. Mm -hmm. You pillager playing out of their mind on the water shard. I've not seen movement. water shard movement like this. So Good, like it's uh, acting like the buildings are just straight up not there. Oh, but still get staggered. Pops the PA. I must, I must swap to uh, to our friend uh, Star Cannon's movement here, or camera here. Even that coil muscle charge. There's the PA. Star Cannon has PA advantage. Pillager not able to get out in time. One, two, three, four, five does not have a very good assault boost, so they have to use the quick boost here, which they're using very well. Quick they're boost. dodging the zims. Yeah, quick boost completely avoiding that widespread. Impressive timing. I think they're timing the reload. They're counting it in their head. That would make sense to me. Good Honestly, use of the shield. You can also use the uh, the in-game timer to do that as well. It's a two-second reload, so you just look at this, look at the timer, see two, one, two, and then you go. You go. Yep. Just watch for the timer here, to move your That's game. Uh, that look, it's really. If, if Pelica gets staggered, it's over. Oh, very good. Right the cover. cover. The kick. The kick. But they <laughs> shielded it. But they the get shielded. <laughs> the kick Stagger was so reset. goofy. I made it go. That's game. Wow, yeah. well played. That was such a close Incredible one. Incredible game one. And again, Xylem is the best map. I agree with chat. Xylem is insane. That's why we have it here. I, I wanted to run this like only new maps, but you can't run a tournament without Xylem. If you run a tournament without Xylem, no, you you're absolutely throwing cannot. As a tournament Watching organizer. those players like brawl between the buildings and zip around them as cover is just so exciting. Why are they using Basho arms? Uh, EN and, uh, and defenses. Uh, okay. Best lightweight arms for that. So speed, uh, and also with Alcellus, you still have like really strong FCS lock at close range. So why not? Yeah, I was speaking with, uh, I, was, I spoke to uh, Risa uh, some time ago in, in an interview and Ooh. basically put Risa, like Risa explained that like after the Burzel nerfs, she had to make her AC con a, a considerably lighter 
to yep. compensate. Oh I my god! The, the, the core muscle landed while they were staggered! That's huge damage! Oh, this is a really bad spot for Dude, Pillager. That, that, that I, one I, interaction I one, costed most of HP. I didn't want to interrupt you, Moby, but they, they Starcanum was doing a wonderful job of just pinning Pillager down, because the, the reason why Pillager uh, won that last game is because of their movement. And if you just don't let your opponent move, they can't outplay mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Kick them out of hover, you know, just end the hover any way you can, and the quad player is going to have a hard time, like, reactivating that on top of managing everything else. There's someone in the chat says, I feel sorry for Pillager. You gotta give him a run. Pillager won the last game. This is not a, this is yeah, not an impossible Pillager, matchup. Pillager's playing, playing out of the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not an impossible would, matchup by any stretch. Honestly, like, I would feel, <laughs> I would not feel any, any, any sympathy for Pillager. Pillager is playing well. Yeah, well, Water Striders are, they're not saw, like main meta, but they're, they've always been quite strong. Yep, Star just really played it perfectly that time. They're, I think they're picking up on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a, that again? That was a perfect game for Star Cannon. That was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the thing, again, that was Water Striders is not a bad playstyle. It's just a very underused playstyle because it's so clunky and so weird it's to like so get used clunky. to. You have to learn it. It's special. But once you learn it, we're seeing it. We're seeing the potential here. And again, okay, so Star Cannon actually has a AP deficit here, which means that they have to approach. Which they're going to anyway, but you know. <laughs> yeah. That's not the whole point of the build even is to approach the whole W, hold forward, and do some damage. <laughs> yep, so sticking to the plan here, trying to get in. Stagger looking Ooh. high on Pillager. Another I like that. Zimmerman's gonna okay, do so it. You might have not, not noticed that there, but Star Cannon brought up the shield to parry the explosive door, but Pillager actually did the charge oh, version. No, which meant, the oh, the double, double stagger. stagger! But because they were so close, Pillager was able to get the, uh, not Pillager, uh, Star Cannon was able Pillager to get the struggling zoom. to get, oh. But because they uh, they charged the explosive door, uh, Star Cannon tried to parry the explosive door, but then actually mistimed it because of the charge instead of the uh, regular hit. Here comes okay, the PA from both PA players. From both. Pillager down some AP here. Star Cannon doesn't know what the word kite means. <laughs> in for the in for a penny, <laughs> in for a rush. pound, trying to finish the fight. Star Cannon is going in right now. That is why it's called Zimmerman Rushdown. Ooh, good explosive door though. Oh, so close to getting no! staggered! That was an incredibly so close. close game. If Starcano got staggered, it would have been over. That was Cake so secured close. It. Cake secured it right into the Zim. Uh, today, cousin. Because it shouldn't take too long if it's top 8. If it's top 8, it shouldn't take too long. If it was top 16, like the 1k tournament, it would be uh, tomorrow. I love- I do the explosive throw usage from, uh, from Pillager has been just ridiculous. Like, it's been so cool. <laughs> I'm like, loving it. I've been uh, playing with it a little bit and getting a handle on that vertical versus horizontal feels really cool when you pick the right one. Oh yeah. It does, it does. It's such but a honestly, cool Star, uh, Star, Star Kingdom is also using like the shield really well, basically mm -hmm. pairing everything so far. Yeah, I, 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 I like as, I, as I brought up earlier, uh, choosing the, uh, the uncharged or... Oh my god, that was so much damage. Choosing the uncharged or the fully charged explosive though is really important when you're prone to the shield because you can kind of fake them out a bit. True, it changes your yeah. timing up. Just that little bit. It's like 0.6 seconds of, of time switch up, you know? <laughs> mm, what else has 0.6 seconds? Interesting. Ooh, a Pillager kick? pinned down here. Pillager's movement is what uh, is what has defined the first game and, 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 and you know, was able to get them the win. So Starcana, his whole goal is just to pin, their whole goal is to pin them down. Just one uh -huh, straight look, all that happened shot while they weren't over. striding. Mm -hmm. You have to stride on one shooter. That's the whole point. And the Zimmerman catches him in between the one, two, three, four, fives. There is a slowdown period that is extremely punishable. Mm. See if Pillager can, Pillager can do this. All right, up to hover. The first match they were very dominant, but the the adaptation from Stark Henum is huge here. Mm -hmm. Looks to be avoiding that explosive throw a bit better. Mm. It's going to be important. Ooh, big damage though, and that cake to punish. I like it. AP close though. Pulse armor early, as Starcanum is spending energy to commit. I would back away here too, because it, it just makes sense. I mean, your opponents, your opponents, uh, your opponents. Uh, oh, but the stacker did not reset. Out. Ooh, good pinning down with the kick. Very strong. Both players high stagger. Who's gonna get it first? Oh, but the core the missile! Quad. The core oh. missile did so much damage! The core missile came out of nowhere! Dude, that's... Gets locked out of the Zim punch by the corner, though. You cannot count core missile out. Oh, and they're forced to be on the ground to recharge TN! That should, that should be game. There it is. 
Oh, Excellent show for both players. That was wonderful. What a close game. Dude, Pillager, you are first... you're one of the best water share players I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. That first that first phase, that first match was wonderful. Or real. Well played. Best memories? I've never heard of that one. We are now it's, here. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off, but we cannot. No, we cut have, me we off. Have go, to talk go, go. About the, go, go, the, go. Wrap up with the video game. We have a laser laser dagger zim build, which is very neat. And then what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the heck? Is, uh, I haven't seen this build eater. in a lifetime. <laughs> The Dude. Crayon Eater, I love that it's name, holy crayon crap. Eater. I didn't know it was called Crayon Eater. That's so good. Crayon That's Eater, so will it good. feast or famine? Dude, I love how it looks like crayons too. Oh, and it's so pretty I know, with the it's perfect. I will say, p is like a weird Dude, stun. The, 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 the stun launcher. The raw dagger? Excuse me? Sakura? <laughs> Sakura going crazy, kinda. Just using it for moving. Ooh, nice kick. Yeah, yeah Kikaku sliding with, uh, with dagger is very strong. Ooh. Oh, no. A snipe? Oh my God! Man, I love all those. I love all those needle cannons. Look, right? They look like colored pencils. They do look like colored pencils. Yeah, look at that. All right, so Scorpion needs to get in here and use that Zim. Get, get those. Uh, and just really just dodge these sun needles. The stun needles are, yeah, are, aren't really used very much. Even even if they were never nerfed, people would still would not use the stun needle because it is purely a stagger punish. It is, you cannot do basically anything else with it besides just stagger punish, which is why it yeah, became kind too, of weak. Yeah, it's too slow. I would say it also AI... lost a lot when uh, they took away the uh, bug with the status effects. It yeah. used to be two of those guaranteed the activation. Nowadays, eh, most of the good heads, it's not going to happen. So. Yeah. That's what that's what made their raw shot good. The status effect. Yeah. Oh, this dagger combo. And that's game. Finishes it. Good dang. <laughs> good dang? Good job. The Sakura. Have yourselves a phase three. The thing is, it's like the, running pure stagger punish weapons just isn't very good in this current metagame and like in, in, this, in this current game even. Because you want your weapon you have only have four weapons to choose from. You want them all to do something during neutral. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have some kind of uh, threat from your weapons. Otherwise, uh, if they if they cancel out the way that you were gonna enable it, it's wasted weight. Mm -hmm. And they're not they're actually not that heavy. Uh, the um the stun needles, but good lord, they're just not worth it for the weight. They are pretty energy thirsty too, though. Now what I That's will where, say like, a lot of their cost comes is from. that I believe you can link kick into the stun needle. It will actually either be it's either a link or very close to one. Yeah, it's tough to avoid, especially against the Celis. And since I believe they're running a Lula, they do have a decently fast assault boost. So they could get in there for some kicks. I just, I'm not sure if they want to get close with the, uh, because of that Zimmer shotgun though. Unfortunately, the crayon, the, the crayon eater's only close range, def, uh, like option is to use the stun leaders, but they're very easy to dodge. Mm, especially on a Lula light, light uh, Kikaku lightweight actually. Yeah. From Sakura here. It's the kind kick of lands. Ooh, the kick. It's no, Zimmy's cool ready it... immediately. So cool. Oh, the Slinky Kaku slide into it! Oh, that was so the good! The armor counter into the dagger! Well played! The Kikaku, Slinky Kaku slide into AA. Good job to Sakura. Uh, Sakura. Good lord. What do you think is the Kikaku slide? So, Kikaku slide is where you cancel your, uh, your Kikaku melee thrust with a quick boost, and you get a slide effect, which is super, super powerful. You can use it on Power Bunker, you can use it on Pulse Blade, you can use it on Blizz Jagger. Use on any melee. You just on stun baton, like charge stun baton even. Mm -hmm. Yep, anything that has a melee dash. You can do it with chainsaw light attack. You can do it with landslide attack too. Oh. Yeah, yeah that was that's a fun one. Yeah, getting getting in close with landslide attack and then going for the fully charged lance is really cool. But Kikaku melee cancel is insane. It, it's the only thing in the end that can get you to like 700 speed. So far, the early missile trade going in the favor of faster. Avoiding the stun. Oh, the splash hit though. Sendel actually connecting. The fast is just barely a, a little bit away from full stagger. Dude, one of the funniest things about ranked coming out is that people would like, you would find people with like their dual zim, dual stun needle wheelchair. Like, like they just, they played 1.0 <laughs> and then just like, they thought the meta was the exact same. It was really funny. Yep, yep. Seeing a All lot right. of the ancient builds revive the old yeah. gods. <laughs> the old gods. Yeah. Ooh, the stun needles! There it is! Oh, the double stun needles! My gosh. 
Barely able to clip them. Unfortunate. Roughly 600 plus speed on the slide. Yowza. That is a high number you can for this get game. Up to, you can get to like 700 or so. I, I've seen I've seen numbers with like that are just insane. But that's like with a, a super light AC. Yeah, and lamb head, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> the double needle Ooh, land. Oh, double needle. That was well timed. Yeah. You know, it is primarily a punished weapon, but if it does hit, it has enough stagger between mm -hmm. the two of them. Too. Usually, ear uh, shots are chosen for something like that because they have that big splash effect. But oh, stunning totally. stun old weighs less, I believe. Yeah, if you're comparing this weapon to something uh, a little bit more similar, like say an LCB. Oh! Right? LCB's got a short cooldown, but it doesn't have the stagger up. The AA hey, connecting from so far away, and the laser are confused. That's so sad. Ah, uh, but the missiles do the job. Finish the Sakura job. Sakura tried, tried to finish it in style. Yeah, having these uh, missile launchers on builds is just so great for these situations where your enemy is moving out of oh, your range. Right. You need something, right? You could go all close range weapons here. You could go with like a shotgun swap, but the missiles provide so many more options, so many more threat ranges that your opponent has to be aware during. Dude, the the charged laser dagger was so sick. That's a move that I would desperately love to get buffed. Yeah. If it, if it, if it went off of your melee thrust instead of just being a set distance, I think it would be awesome. Oh, there it is again! Uh, uh, you can't PA there! Uh, oh, 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 with the AA tech! If you didn't know, while you're in Assault Boost, you gain a 30% impact reduction. And they use that to get away from there, but it was not fast enough to keep up to, uh, to get away from Sakura's very fast build. And Sakura takes it yep. 2-0. If you have 1,800 nice. stability and you Assault Boost, you can survive the Assault Armor. No Actually, problem. if you you're have 1,575, really if you have 1,575 yeah. uh, stability. Oh, yeah, I did not know that. That is amazing. Yeah, because AA only does 2,000 impact, and it, it like you just you know, you can get over that uh, that threshold with a assault boost on even the, even a, a build like BVO, like like this build right here can do it, which seems ridiculous when you look at it, you know, and see it's a lightweight, but even this yep. build. It, you, the only condition is that you can't be like pre-staggered. So if you are getting your pulse armor up and it's resetting your stagger, and then you hit your assault boost, you've got you know guaranteed safety. Yeah, lamb core on BVO has been pretty pretty popular because you just get more energy and like you're gonna die in two seconds anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Double well, wizard Haldeman? has some kind of double double Haldman BVO. Yes. Cult of the Haldman. Cult of the Haldman. And you have laser slicer on the BVO. I like it. Laser slicer falling in my favor because of the tank bug recently. It's uh, so cool. Well, tanks just don't really get staggered, so laser slicer fans have kind of just uh not really been using it. But here we Plus, go. Um, Robin mentioned that Robin mentioned that for because of the Burzel nerf that a lot of ACs are lighter on armor mm -hmm. as a result of it. So he thought the laser slicer would be overkill. Yeah, That's I, why he replaced it up. But we'll see if it works in Sasha's favor. We'll see. I like That's the Holman yeah. pick. It's kind of neat. The Viento's Ooh, do the thing, slicer. Mm. Both players' expansions are down. Wizard going in for the assault boost. Uh, Holman here. Gain that nice 30% impact Excellent in range. Increase. Excellent range management by Sasha here. Extend. Ooh, oh, good damage, but no extension. No extension. I think Wizard didn't oh, mean the stagger there. I think they were trying to time it somewhere else. Sasha might have to close out this game. Oh. Ooh. Very that nice game. dodging by both players. They're very fun. Let's see what they can do here. We'll swap the Sasha view. Sasha Cam activated. Boom. All missiles hit. Wow. Very rare for a uh, for a lightweight to get hit by like multiple missiles. Usually just one or two clips. Yeah. Almost a BVO, but that is not BVO. Ooh, There's good the extension oh, and kick in extension. the Haldman oh, again. Oh. That's the Haldman reload, baby. That's what it does. You kick wow. Haldman, kick Haldman. It's always Dude. ready. Dude. That was fantastic. Damn. Using the Vientos to just enable the shotgun combo. I like it. I like it. The only thing is, if it, the stagger happens with the Haldmans, all you have is the Viento kick. It's it something, but it ain't no Haldman extension. Oh, definitely not. And definitely caught Sasha off guard because they didn't PA. They thought they, thought they would live. But no, they were dead. Who's coming out? The Slicer. Pulse play was really, really. I, I, pulse armor was a little late. Yeah, yeah after the combo went through. 
I think yeah. I think Wizard was expecting it not to work because it, it was so it was so delayed. It was so late. So Wizard thought they were safe. But unfortunately, they were not. Through, through. Over here it is. That might be game. Oh, but you're right. I, just as oh, you talked about Dirk. The... Just as you talked about Dirk. They, they got the cyber with the double halberd, meaning that they only could just dump Vientos into them instead of actually be able to do mm -hmm. the, the full combo. Which almost oh, tried to come back there. Also, I wanted to keep in mind, in 1.03.1, .1, the patch that nerfed Zims from, like, being just incredibly stupid, also nerfed Haldman, and for good yep, reason. Definitely. Yeah, because it was basically the one one shot fix all. Like, you could use it for stagger punish, you could use it for initiating stagger. They reduced its stagger punish a bit, and I think that was warranted, because I oh, played extremely. it a lot, and I can tell you it felt too good. Extremely. Quad shotgun with, with, uh, with Haldman Sweet 16 is also fantastic. Like, Andromeda has been using that a decent amount in, like, scrims. I can never get used to how close you have to be. You basically have to be kissing like the other yeah, mech the... to use the Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. But if you yes. do, oh my god, that there's no equal in damage. It's actually the same way with the Haldman. It bounces so easily, and it really doesn't have damage over range like the Zimmerman does, and that's why I like to mix them in threes. Oh. Yeah, because doing one AP of damage can be incredibly important sometimes. And a ricochet won't count. With the Vientos, a lot of, lot of very good lining up on those Vientos. Ooh, but assault boosting right into those missiles was not fantastic. It's not a good play. Asha's very close to getting staggered. There's yep, the Vientos. High stagger output extension. Ooh, All the Hallman's oh. getting sneaking in right before the PA. Oh yeah, no, not enough time PA for the laser right blade. Here. I'm not the, the laser slicer. Great job. You see, what you, what you really want to do with PA is catch your Ooh. opponent when they don't have energy. And that's what they did. Good work, at Grizz. Sasha had to chase in, had to close the gap, and they popped their pulse armor as soon as the gap was closed. Their opponent had less energy. Got to take advantage of that. This one decides it, possibly. High stagger already on Sasha. Wizard avoiding the worst of it inside of the dual missile range. Stagger extended into kick. Another Haldman oh, shot here. That PA was so late. That's so unfortunate. Oh, no. Akers, Way Akers too is late. Fantastic at lining up these Vieto shots. Yeah, very patient. Letting that and FCS get a red lock. And that is game for Wizard. I didn't use the point system, but that is game. Surely, yeah, surely. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> Dirt Tongue's dying. I thought I hit my push to mute, but it's B, not V. <laughs> All right, we're here at top the... eight. We have Josh, who is actually terrorizing the Swiss bracket for a while, which is quite nice. And then we have Dez with Armageddon, a lamb missile bot versus Armageddon, one of the most unique ACs in the game right now. Let's find up charging those core missiles, getting that 400 and... boost speed on the good, good lamb legs. Yep, and right Dez in hover mode. matching them in the air. Eh. Noodle length, insufficient. We've all been there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Ooh, Noodle's starting to graze them. Ooh, the Trados and the WLT! Oh. Chat was wrong. Chat voted heavily oh in the favor God, of Josh. Is... Oh my goodness. Yeah, watch out for those WLTs, man. The That's a high stagger. velocity weapon. And the level, the level one charge on uh, on WLT is fantastic for this as well. Watch out, the core muscle, core muscle does not connect. Or at least, it, it, if it did, it didn't matter. Oh, Josh is cornered. And there's the noodle beam. Noodle beam grazing them. Turbo, oh, they oh, both oh, have oh, terminal oh, armor. What are the chances we get both the Heck terminal armor? Yeah, the same I love match. to see it. This is my favorite Dude, expansion right here. Josh went Josh was in. actually really close. Dude, Josh went in and tried to kill them as soon as possible. I don't think they were also expecting terminal armor. Yeah, I don't think he understands. He is, he is a fellow terminal armor enjoyer. Dude, we have two terminal armors in top eight. What the heck? Yo. Two terminals, two quads, one match. What a match. <laughs> well, like, Epic. <laughs> more than one match. It's not best of one. <laughs> So real quick though, it's it's like the reason why he's uh, Josh is struggling is because he's outside of FCS range right now. Well, <laughs> FCS the noodles reach just beyond the FCS range of 450. Oh, 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 oh that takes two direct hits. Oh, High big damage. Do not matter. It does not matter. Only AP. Only AP. The Trenos connecting. Be oh, Trenos. Oh, but the nice. one, he missed. missed. What? But the second one connected. FCS work. just doing stuff, man. Josh lands! Trino's close. Oh, There's we're the in noodle field. range. Oh, no. Death has to get away from that hammer. Yup, and have something ready. Oh, oh, heavy oh, there it is. Yeah. Death takes My it. My goodness. 
Dez takes the first round. Chat was wrong. Chat was Dez, like we we were, yeah we were suggest we were all like oh he's gonna struggle. He had an answer. Oh my Extreme gosh. careful around those coral missiles. Like the ones that landed, we saw what can happen. So Dez is being real careful around those things. Cannot throw a noodle yeah. out with them in the air. I wonder if Dez is gonna catch them because this map is huge. Massive. Yeah, I'm wondering high skybox, wide borders. <laughs> And Dez's uh, AC while salt boosting, even even quick boost the salt boosting, like it, it can only reach like 390, 350 to four hundred at most. Which is their uh, that's with regular cruise boosting. speed. Yeah, exactly. You know, which is a regular the assault boost on speed. the lamb isn't that much faster than the normal boost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not with no... its regular, just regular hover boost is insanely fast. Three ninety. So at Dez worst, has to make absolutely sure that that Josh does not get AP lead here, or I believe they just lose. Uh oh, we're in the open. We're not by the ship. Coral missiles in open air. Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Oh, direct hit from one of them, but Dez is actually not staggered quite yet. Uh, quad leg Maybe moment. Too, though. Quad and leg now, moment is when, right. When Josh has the lead, the fight can't happen by the spaceship, and that's really, really bad because these pulse missiles, oh, these coral hit. missiles. All right, one successfully evaded. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to make something work. This huge map, high skybox, open airspace. Lame is just so gosh darn fast. He's playing like a fighter jet right now. But one yep. stagger, and that can be that can be everything. Oh, Dez just needs to do something to prevent the reset. It didn't happen. The Torino happens though. There it Look is. at the Oh, but the wall missile missed! The, the, the wall the wall cannon missed. Oh, Extremely no, this close is not a good Oh, turn on pop. They watch over those people. Avoid everything. Oh, That's oh what God, has to happen. Left, touch away from death. Cool, and cool the building cover is going to make it happen. Oh, came out too oh, early. Just yeah. barely, wow! The tendrils Patience barely got Dez. them. If this just came out, if this came out just like a few seconds later, that they, I think they would have gotten that. Because one it was trainer, a one AP yeah. to one AP game. It was anyone's wow. at that point. Des almost turned that around completely. Good lord! Don't give up on AP deficit. Absolutely, do not give up. If you play it right, it can be that close. In the ship now, no AP diff means something has to happen. Mm -hmm. Actually, I will say so. Josh does not need to engage here because if no, if no uh, draw, if no damage is done. Oh, but there we go. Never mind. But if no damage is you done, were if just saying, know, my God. if y'all didn't know that manual uh, aim, why not just alt it for the start? Because then Des would be DQ'd. What the heck are you talking about? Anyway, and uh, so and that's how, Walt how it works. By the way, is that um. If both players haven't done any damage, both players will get a phase, meaning that Josh would just win. But, yeah, here, but right now, Josh is actually in the deficit right now. Very much oh, so. Oh, heavy deficit. All right, Dez jumping back into cover. Hammer hits. Oh, but the hammer, I don't think it's going to be as useful against such a heavy quad unless you're Not close to you know, smart. The, the defense on that thing is way too gosh darn strong for that to, to worry about. The spider cave. Yeah. <laughs> Dez near stagger here. Needs to watch out for that. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get a reset. Ooh, there's the, there's, the, there's the hammer. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Terminal pop, it's popped. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is Dez's game. Like, there's no way he, like, unless he gets too far right now. Gotcha, kind. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. I mean, it's an it's AP game trainers. if Dez doesn't Ooh, engage. All the trainos. It doesn't matter if trainers are It doesn't matter if trainers yeah, are if, if you only have one AP. It's yeah. true. Like honestly, Dez's manual aim of the tier one, like tier one Walt shot, was what won that whole game. That was insane. It, like that manual aim is. that he got under the cave. Holy crap! It, it's it, it forced nuts. Josh to approach because like Lamb might be yeah. really fast, and this this exact Lamb is really fast. But that doesn't matter yeah. if you, if you oh. don't have AP lead. You need AP lead. Like, actually, Josh has AP lead right now. Mm -hmm. Oh no, yep. Des doesn't know where he is. Oh, never mind, he's right there. <laughs> 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 All right, we're on target now. Advantage, yeah. Josh. Unfortunately, Josh has the advantage, so Des is gonna have to figure out something else here. Solving the Des view. Missiles in the open. Ah, both the land. direct hit Ooh, is not big great damage. for Des. This might be Josh's game. But if yeah. Josh yep. wins this, they will not get this map again. Because there's no way Des wants to go back to this map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely not. This is a antithesis uh, for his build right now. He's caught in the open, open air, coral missiles flying, screaming. Ooh, big damage. Oh, he catches up, gets the two solo hits and the Trinos. The Trinos did Trinos didn't hit. Defender side. We heard the hits, no. but it did not connect. Mm -hmm. Perfect dodge Notice on that, that like... coral missile. Just teased it around. Moby, definitely yeah. not a Notice... bonus commentator at all. You can tell. 
<laughs> I need to switch my camera. I always commentate from the camera angle I'm watching. I'm going to watch this hover tag now as they kite away yeah, yeah, from yeah, Dez. I should, I should switch to the top of the hover tag then, yeah. The SAD dodging. Just hold S, press AD. It works. You don't got a quick boost. Save your energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, makes the, it throws off the FPS and aiming. Like, that's exactly mm -hmm. what Josh is doing here. Yeah, they're redlocked, but they're redlocked on your current trajectory. Mm -hmm. Indeed, that's game. That right. honestly, that game was won as soon, mostly won as soon as Josh got those initial pulse missiles at the beginning mm -hmm. of that round. This is very much decided by who can control the pace. When Dez got the first hit, Dez won. When Josh got the first hit, Josh won. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it plays yeah. out on a different map. Yeah, I feel like the map was definitely the issue there because like, the map is huge. Bone Day Dunes A is like the biggest map in the game. It is ridiculously huge. Dez should be able to. This 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 fight will go very 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 differently than the last one. Yeah, it's a it's a rather large map, but it's not dunes. It's totally catchable with map boundary, and these like boxy covers provide a nice edge to block Ooh. missiles with. The new hitting, but being punished with those PFOPs are stancing. It's remarkably close on that trade. The two noodle swipes keeping this up. This is getting with very the close. Of course, a correct hit. connected. When the PFOPs stagger, right. stagger. Ooh. You know that's probably good for Dez. In high, you know, the coral missiles can't punish the stagger now. Right, it's reset, and we know how much Dez can burst. Excellent Ooh. dodging on Josh's part. Speaking oh, of this, looks like Josh's missiles. round. But I'm gonna be blatantly honest. Yeah, the kiting is taking up all of Dez's energy. Josh being very smart to pull him away before firing the missiles. They've been charged and locked for a while now, and they weren't fired. The timing was very good. Mm. Wonder how Dez is going to adapt because the thing is, Dez won the first two two phases pretty pretty solidly. It has to be cover. It has to be getting first damage. I mm -hmm. think the early part of the phase needs to be spent carefully positioning and waiting for a chance. Uh, throwing out these noodles, I'm not so sure. Look at that, just skirting the edge of it and catching the pulse missiles. Yeah. Now Josh controls the fight. Yeah, very good spacing. Indeed. There's a full energy here from the coral gen. <laughs> Just to shoot the tier one Clean shots, but it. Josh is extremely adept at dodging. Dude, dodging the train was very good. Watch this out that core missile. The other caught up. <clears throat> Dodged it on his end. I like how they're saving one core missile just to just to dissuade them from from uh from approaching, which is very smart. 100%. You could throw both at the same time, and sure, that'll do good alpha strike, and you take advantage of the immediate stagger. Oh, but you lose control. Hit. And the control is what's keeping Josh on top of this fight. You know, you see his stability spiking up, but Dez can never keep it on and punish right now. Yeah. And there and it is, turn moment. pop. Josh just needs and to play time and do game. one damage. I think that's game. Yeah, that should be game. There it is, and Josh takes it. There it is. Josh well, nothing worse. Is. <clears throat> nothing worse than having Josh? your terminal armor pop and seeing your opponent outside of lock on range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. If you just don't lose, you'll never be sad about gambling. It's a skill issue. A total of ten dollars. Well, you didn't have ten dollars with the fun, no? What? Because you didn't lose. I I go to the casino with five hundred, and I spend most of it on drinks and smokes. Yeah, but, but you're also like a millionaire. <laughs> I so get like... fun, you know. I, I paid for the experience. I got the experience. I sat at the blackjack table. I puffed my cigar. I lost my money. Oh my gosh, casino dude. experience. Anyway, we have a very cool water strider build versus an LCB tank, which actually one of the appetizer head, appetizer head, whatever it's called. Which yeah, I haven't seen <laughs> ever. I, no, I've never called? seen it once so far. Like I don't even know what it's called. That's how like little I've seen that head ever. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. A, like it's, it's such a rare head. One. It's a bit heavy and doesn't give all that much. Also, MLT I ten we don't see a lot too. A lot of uncommon parts here, which I really like. I, again, the one two three four five booster on that, on oh, that AC is just lovely so lovely movement cool. for Pillager to use some terrain. Dude, the water starter just dancing around these LCPs. Uh, the explosive thrower throws were beautiful there, right around the cover, just around the corner. It Look can be very charge. easy to get that thing blocked. Dude, these duo threes have been putting in so much work. Right around the cover, Ooh. and they hit tanks oh, so easily. Oh, that hit! But that not quite zone. enough. Ooh, another, another hit with the LCBs. They're not doing as much damage as I expected them to be. I think we see good energy defense. They've got Mind Alpha, they've got the Balaam Heavy Arms. And they've got the hammer head. I mean, that's a lot of energy defense. I guess they must be spec for energy oh, defense. Yeah, that's a lot. Ooh, I think it's because last time we saw we saw Ramen we saw Ramen playing against that Ramen's a, a lightweight. So that makes sense why like it would be obliterated by a single one of those. That's a good point. Against this midway tetrapod, you have a lot more tankiness to yourself. 
And as 100%. we talked about earlier about how the importance of AP lead, Aphrodite is now forced to get closer. Ooh, those LCBs really connecting there. I am loving Pillager's use of the terrain, just perfectly going in circles. This is ridiculous. There's no way. If I'm Aphrodite, I'm 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 asking for a different map next time. There's no Look way I'm going back this. <laughs> and they yeah. one, two, three, four, five, right around the kick. That huge movement. Oh, oh look, look at that. Just scoot, 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 scoot. Dude, they are water I know, right? The water strider right now. staple. And that's why the build is called what it is. Look at his stride. Look at it. It's it's like, this is even a water map. I wish you had called it water scooter. I'll be real. Water scooter. Water scooter. It does scoot. It do scoot. Okay, if I'm going to be blatantly honest, I did not know dual missiles could be used like that to like circle around terrain. It's so cool. And look at this. They heard the that's beep beep so beep. Neat. They knew there was huge pain incoming just behind the block with a well-placed oh. quick boost. That's what I was talking about earlier. You quick boost the wrong direction, you die. You quick and boost the game. right direction. You block all the damage. Pillager takes a phase. Dude, this is insane. This this LCB, like, holy tactical. You know what? The, 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 power poser in chat. Holy tactical Couldn't awareness, Batman. Could not have said it better myself. <laughs> yep, that's it. It's it's great awareness of where your boost's going to put you and what the map has to offer. Like, right here, just right behind the cover. Beautifully played. Dude, look how fast so they much, are. So, such good energy management, too. Like, just landing when exactly Ooh. when you need to. But they took all those swap over to Aphrodite. I want to I wanna see what it's like to chase this thing. I don't know. I, I, my eyes are glued to the villagers' movement. I'll be real. Though I do like, I do like the play with uh, staying in the air. Though they, they can't oh, use the terrain if you're in the air. That tank movement was so good. Kick, Ooh, kick forward into a quick boost back, and they Ooh. just completely changed their movement. And Look, that's a really good, good kick, kick and an explosive throw. They must have got hit by something. I think my, maybe it was the LCB. I'm not sure what happened to them, but they took a lot of damage from that from that exchange. Oh, Pillager cool. here, a tank just reset its stagger using cover. Good lord. Yeah. Also, Pillager took some direct hits from the LC, the LCBs. I think they're called right. The yeah, LCBs. Yeah. Like, ooh, like it, it has the it has the HP lead, but you still going the on wide the offensive. Cannon. Interestingly enough, it's the wide one. Now keep in mind, the wide uh, cannon. Now keep in mind, Aphrodite does actually have uh, Ocellus on their on their tank here, which means they have to get close to hit those LCBs. They cannot just unless they manual aim. They can't really just go for like soft locked uh, LCB shots. The benefit is they do have the missiles. They that can is fight huge a long range. damage on the LCB. Needle just swap. He got the damage what? right back. They Aphrodite got... lands a direct hit. They got into their Ocellus range. That was a huge mistake by Pillager. They could yeah, they have won this. Yeah. Oh. Coming Aphrodite this... turning it around. Let's see. You come in for the thrower and you get the horns, I guess. That was a get the ton horns. of burst. Was that with well time shot, now? too. Ooh, AP late on, on Pillager's side. Here we see Tank, the best airborne movement in the game. Uh, unintended, maybe. I don't know. Aphrodite is just <laughs> completely on points with these laser cannons. Yeah, Aphrodite is really killing out their movement here. Only the punishes the duos. Ooh, the LCB is connecting! But Aphrodite's Ooh, not in the position they can punish. That no, was they were. painful for Follow the Follow-up shot landed, too. Oh, my goodness. That was two shots and a lot of AP. Aphrodite now controlling the pace of the match here. Probably going to look for cover so that the missile problem is reduced. Ooh. I stagger. There it is. No punish. I, I wouldn't have gone for the punish either. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I, the I, Majestic was really the only safe option there. I do yeah, not it's, want it's Aphrodite's to be... game right now. I do not want to be with the Nocellus range of that. That is terrible. Yeah, Ocellus range yeah. is currently a pain circle. Uh, the LCBs, <laughs> <laughs> that is they so do a true. lot of damage. LCBs and have an they incredibly can be wide hitbox as well. Yep, wide hitbox, accurate FCS, close range disaster. Aphrodite oh, near stagger here. Oh my here. god! Big damage. Aphrodite's like Aphrodite knows exactly when to fire. So I'll go for good. a kick here, one thousand percent. Yeah, I think that was a good kick opportunity. Oh, so close! Eh? Aphrodite just having a pinch of AP left. Very close, but Aphrodite does take it. Pilger's FCS, I don't remember a ball check. Like, I think it's PO5. Probably. That's a great missile and mid-range FCS. Mm -hmm. Has the highest and FCS, middle FCS in the game. Yeah, definitely what you want with the Majestic, where it has that air burst. You want it to be able to put the shot accurately so that yep. the air burst can do its work. Yeah, PO5. Ooh, slight AP lead for Pilger here. Aphrodite has to approach. Yeah, we Ooh. see a lot better FCS variety in this than older AC games. Shout out the FCS variety. Yay. Shout out in blue. 
Oh, Dude, I love this using play. the terrain very well as usual. Dude, this play around the pillar is fantastic from Pillager here. Give give them a building and they and they will use the heck out of it. Yep. All right, pillar tech here dodging ah, the explosive the building thrower. Block. It's building blocked. Yep, silo tech. The silo tech. Ooh, the LCB is coming right out though. That oh, hurts. Aphrodite knows Ooh, exactly what to fire. Ooh, going yep, for the that's the thing I was talking about it earlier. The one, two, three, four, five lasts so long that the FCS can reacquire a lock at close range before the quick boost even ends. I'm, I'm, I'm very tense right now. But there's the LCBs perfectly lined up from Aphrodite there. Yep, AP leads big right now. Missiles are gonna come in, probably land. Dodged. That's very close to a stagger, Dodged. Though. Ooh, tank stagger, stagger resets. Reset. That's the half. Ooh, good majestic shot nope, though. No, no reset for there. No punish either. Unfortunate. That was that would oh, be huge. Oh no, that was the only chance. I'm really not sure if pillage can turn this around Not their only chance. I think the AP will probably deplete before the stagger bar increases. I mean, that's right. At this point. Yeah. yeah. 12 seconds. They got. They got to get in. Yeah. We need to see that aggression that we saw before. So we know they can do the burst. Oh. Punished during the animation by the lasers. That Unfortunate. Very good reaction from Aphrodite, though. All right, let's see if Pillaging turns us oh, around. Wow. This is their last phase. We have to go to the terminal Aphrodite bracket. Is so good at dodging missiles with such a, a tanky AC. Yeah, My that's a, that's something that people people hate on tank players, but the the good tank players can make that thing look like a lightweight. If you I don't know. believe me, that, I, exactly I have a video. If you don't believe me, I have a video on Taka, Taka Fumi versus uh, versus Dez, and Taka Fumi is one of the best tank players in the world. Yeah. And they are <laughs> the, the movement looks like a lightweight. It is insane. Yeah, I don't need a video. I saw. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was true. amazing. That was amazing. Absolutely insane. And Aphrodite is one of them. Aphrodite is one of those players that can that can make this tank look, look so agile and so and so just moving heavy. This is why this is what makes AC unique versus games like World of Tanks or like mech like any other mech games that the movement is ridiculous. The movement is where the expression is all a lot. Definitely. Ooh, the LCB's coming out. Pillager dodging them very expertly. Very even so far. Aphrodite has a bit of stagger built up. Ooh, getting very close. Pillager needs to be... Oh, Pillager weaves around the LCB again. This has to keep it up. That arrow's right at the middle right now. It's just petering back and forth. Pillager had to choose between taking a bunch of... L oh, there's the LCBs. Oh. That, right might the the that, that might be the closing game. That's got to be oh. it. Yeah, that's it. Aphrodite, we have to slip up big to lose this advantage. They're close to being staggered, but we, as oh, we've seen, there it, it doesn't is. matter. And the LCBs, that is game. Aphrodite just moving expertly to get into those cell range to hit those LCBs. While Pillager tried desperately to get them out of there, but slipped up just one too many times. And there they go. The second that Aphrodite got AP lead back, they just started, uh, they just started, like, controlling the pace of the match and just was able to win. All right, gamers, it is time to take... It is time to tank Ditto. It is time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> tank rock him, sock him. The exact same AC, dude. There Who's it got is. the tank movement? Who's got the tank juice? Who's got what it <laughs> takes to out tank the other tank in a tank v tank matchup? Who can they tank, tank better? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> this all comes down to the movement. The parts are the exact same. It's time. It's funny. I actually thought about this earlier. We're like, if, if we ever got, oh, bet, 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 all right, super short predictions of tank A or tank B, 30 seconds. Go for it, gamers, go for it. Get those predictions in. Even their HP, so that, oh, but Aphrodite is now behind, but Taz the oh, PA, the can Aphrodite use that to turn around? No, but the PA is gone. The leading the PA with the LCB is, gosh, they do so much damage. Yeah. Oh, Kind is actually really close to getting staggered. Can Aphrodite take advantage of it? 
Who playing around, dude? I like the way these are on these pillars. Aphrodite actually messing up pretty badly there and whiffing their LCBs. Oh, never mind. Didn't matter. Ooh, well, I don't think so at all. Oh. <laughs> the battle I of the disagree. build codes. Battle of the build <laughs> codes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm assuming that they made this AC together to enter the tournament with. More than likely, yeah. <laughs> or even if not, there aren't really that many parts to choose from. I could see two people arriving at this conclusion. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's very interesting running the apparatus. Oh head. my god, Aphrodite just running him over. Holy crap. Pinning them against the wall. That's huge. Be able to fire your LCB off uh, after you after you popped your own PA to reduce your opponent's PA was pretty dang huge there. Ooh, another very oh good kick by Aphrodite. Oh, Aphrodite oh, this one, the FB is shooting at the floor. Ooh, yeah, that was Aphrodite a takes it 2-0. Oh. oh my, honestly, okay, honestly, like, what won that was this, again, Aphrodite's kicks are just completely on point. Oh yeah. Um, that That's one thing I noticed that kind is not quite doing, so I'm like, that's like the one thing that just shows like a huge difference. I'm like, oh wow, mm. like Aphrodite just hitting those key kicks is really, really t giving a huge advantage. Chat okay. be knowing, chat is the brains of the operation. I mean, chat is, they've got so many more people in there than, than we have. Mm -hmm. so it's not A neural fair. network <laughs> of have... AC knowledge. That's sometimes wrong. <laughs> oh, a solid kick landed by Kine. And yep, you see the full two. combo. Look at that, extended into oh another Oh my god, it's like taking revenge. Kind is outmaneuvering Kine is out of here. Mind you, this round. You Pete would think with this much AP, it would last a while. Uh, no. Nope. one one point oh five gameplay. Not when you have these this is a very strong AC. Yeah, we're thirty seconds in, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Kynes like aggression was well done there. Completely destroyed Aphrodite. But Bella, just we have a we have actually a really diverse top eight. These are the only two tanks in the entire tournament. The entire uh, top eight. A wonderful side party. Yeah. We had what? Two lightweights, two quads, two tanks, and two other things. Uh, we had two lightweights, two quads, two tanks, and two heavy bipeds. And both the heavy bipeds are out, I believe. Actually, no, uh, so both just... two of the quads. One of the quads is out. One of the heavy bipeds is out. So yeah, top, so we're top still six. Mixed. Like, so the, the exact. Oh. Okay, so there, there are two lightweight bipeds in and two tanks. So like. <laughs> All right, we see pretty AP, pretty even AP here. The stagger Ooh. goes on to Aphrodite oh, first. Down below half kick. AP falls oh on her pop by both players. <laughs> this is so goofy. They're like sacked on top of each other. Oh my god. No time to move away, only time to shoot. <laughs> Aphrodite can really turn this around if you can get the, uh, all the punish the stagger. Dude, what is happening? They're like kissing in the corner I there. What is stuck. happening? Aphrodite got stuck at the pillar. <laughs> The kissy corner does Aphrodite in. <laughs> the kissy corner. We got to start calling it that now. We have to. Yep, absolutely. We, it's pinned. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. CST, we do a fight night where I bring... I, it's basically an invitational of a bunch of different... There's like, like uh, matches just happening. Um, so let's say I, I'll grab some... I'll grab like someone like this, like kind and Aphrodite. I'll ask to play and they'll bring whatever build they want to play with. And they'll just, you know, play a tournament set just right there. Um, but every other weekend we'll do actual tournaments. The next one I have, uh, in two weeks from now, we're doing a preset tournament. We have to pick, uh, preset ACs. Like, from the preset tab, which will be very, very fun. Excited yep. for that. Okay, and honestly, also... the beginning of this Ooh. match, it's, it, it, it really looked like a World of Tanks game, because, like, the, the slow way they were moving. <laughs> yeah, position positioning for cover, like, yeah. just watching the movement. That movement from Kine was fantastic. Uh, join the Discord, Kine Bangalore. has been really leveling up. The Discord yeah, join the Discord. Check that. out the calendar. Striker makes a calendar with all the AC events, so you can yes. just like save that to your desktop and like use that as your background <laughs> or something. You know, it's it's right there. It, it probably won't. Double uh, stagger. But just to get yeah, Chartreuse has thing. done good historically, but um, it's not a one size fits all. My gosh, I thought it was a Subasa that won the tournament, right? The star failed the Zim Nation. I think so. Yeah. Dude, this tank versus tank gaming. Yeah, when both tanks stagger each other and they're just stuck looking at each other with the same <laughs> weapons. <laughs> I think tanks. I think tanks have definitely been uh, solved. I think. I think this is the best tank build of 1.05. Yeah, because you've got reach, you've got the best reliable missiles on a good cooldown, and you've got really good accurate burst close range. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty heavy too, so kick is actually doing a lot of damage, which is pretty important. Especially in a mirror matchup like this. I don't think this yep. is I don't think this is the end all be all of 1.05. Especially after watching Robin Rook fight this thing earlier. But I, I do think this is the the best tank build that we have in the meta. 
I think so too. Uh -huh. And one thing we're seeing here is uh, neither player can get away from the other when they pop their pulse armor. So when the pulse armor gets popped, it's basically damage trade. There's no escape, right? <laughs> it's just extra health. Uh huh. Exactly. There's uh, no we're stagger. We're a different build. Would like get away. Kind takes it two one, and the tank war oh. is over. At least for now. I forgot you again. Might back again. Up. I just mentioned earlier that like the person who who starts to win the first round rarely wins the actual thing. What is going on? It's like an anime. Lord Farquaad, what a very good player in chat, says tank isn't so much the issue as the as the LCB being insanely OP. Yeah, the LCB is ridiculous. Yeah. Something is about projectile too, too speed strong. plus projectile width plus the net code is, uh, mm. you know, it is strong. A little very strong. Ramen is getting spirit bomb energy in the chat. <laughs> All the energy is going towards Ramen. <laughs> And then it's... we have Pillager with this awesome Water Strider with the Bazooka to make mid-range incredibly scary. Mm -hmm. And an Explosive Thrower to make close range scary. If there's, one thing, be a... if there's one thing that Ramen knows, it's how to dodge Majestic. Because, like, you know, they played through one patch 1.04.1. Uh, patch 1.04.1. Oh god, that was the Majestic patch, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that was when Majestic was oh, OP. Oh god, Majestics heck. will just exist in the same map and they would hit you. God I, damn it, I hate yeah, that. Yeah, patch day drop, me, Bulls, and Farquaad loaded up all four bazookas on a bunch of tanks and just Ooh. rolled through. Very good, very That's good. Very beautiful good range Robin. dodge. And there's the first Pillager pulse staggered. Play. Good damage. Only going for one hit. Very, very disciplined there, not throwing the second one into the shield. Let's see if Robin can back up and get their attitude recovery kicking. Yes, they can. There it is. If oh Rama had thrown that second hit, it was going to be an explosive thrower. Drops He's right below it. Explosive thrower. Yep, dodged right below it. Just used that zero movement duck drop to go right under. If Raman wins that second, that's the round. My God, My God, what is that movement? This is Raman is one of my favorite players in the competitive scene. They, their movement is insane. And also, Raman if Raman, if Raman wins Fun this to tournament, Raman needs to give a cut of their money to Vumzi because Vumzi uses explosive thrower constantly, and Raman has uh, Raman has definitely <laughs> learned how to dodge it from them. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh! Oh yeah, good point. Raman Rock. also streams sometimes. Y'all definitely hit them up. The, if you hit, click the heart above chat right now, you can follow them on Twitch. I'll have it linked link below and on YouTube. So definitely I'm go check them out. Like Raman might want to reset his stagger here before things get too dangerous. 100%. It was a very scary switch we're going to be in, but it's not anymore because Adrian's going to be cast kicked in. Raman can approach next. What's the on cooldown? The Sumo Missile's so actually. Raman's job of controlling the pace. The Sumo Missile's yeah. actually applying a lot of pressure. Ooh, it's surprised we get those from above. Right out of explosive thrower range, just tiptoeing the edge of that thing. Yeah, it's that, that range control is wonderful. Oh, but the, but the vertical ones actually go way further. The vertical explosive throwers. That also, was crazy to watch from Robin's perspective. I did not expect that. It's also 10 proximity, yeah, keep in mind, so it has a much bigger hitbox. There's the pulse right he, when he the energy spent. Early to, to go on the offensive. Can Robin make it work? Trying to kick to knock him out of the hover. Oh, that, you can stop the water starting striding. It is so funny that Pillager's best movement is around pillars. It's in the name. Pillager. Alright, Robin now lead on AP now. lead. 40 the seconds. That punish. Raman can now control the pace of the match. And the soup is doing work. Raman about to make history. Raman has already made history here at this tournament, but will continue to make it. Can they get third place oh, oh, at oh, the no, tournament? If he, gets, if, he gets, if he gets too cocky, he might get hit. He's, he's hot. He's really close to getting staggered. Not anymore. Those soups just keep chipping, though. Good duo yeah, evasion doing, there. Perfectly dodged. Work. Both these players actually making history. A water strider and a lightweight in top four. I didn't think about that. Villager's also making history here. Great redirection from Robin. Instead of getting stuck on the wall, reverse That's direction. Right. At this point, dodging. I would say. Let's see if Robin can close Beautiful. it out. Beautiful evasion oh, the over the top there. Time up. Robin takes the it. one winged oh. angel. Ramen. Please. Uh, Xylem space map. Uh, from from soft, please. I would love the Xylem. Know, right? I, I, the Xylem is the best design map by far. It is so insane. I know, right? We both <laughs> players trying to figure something out a little bit. Oh, oh, Pillager going on a complete offensive aggressively. Yeah, I like on it. High stagger immediately. It makes sense if you can just ram your entire AC into Ramen. How are they going to dodge the explosive thrower if you're like two meters from their face? Exactly. That's the idea. Oh, oh Robin did manage to ex dodge explosive Thor. I love Full how Pillager is playing reset. this. I love how Pillager is playing this. Dude, the explosive Thor from behind Look. the wall, that was so smart. Ah, damn. Oh my god, Pillager's so fast. On R R Rama's perspective, it just goes everywhere. Almost supposed to do a stagger. 
a kick oh, from behind the building? The oh. system. It completely staggers Robin! That's the pulse armor down now with Pillager in a big AP lead. Shield down first, but keeping that on but top. Roman, Roman is very much just a kit. Actually, no, no. Uh, Pillager is winning the stagger war now. It happens quick, knocks right legs. Great for movement, but you're trading a lot for it. Mm -hmm. That one that didn't explosive connect. Thrower doing is so much work. And the kick again! Oh. It's an explosive thrower! That Majestic would have ended it. Raman managed to get out. Ooh, good oh dodge on that explosive thrower. That, that stagger is going to reset if he doesn't do anything soon. Oh. oh, but it's not enough! That was extremely close, by the way, chat. If you looked at the, sta if you look at the stagger bar and pillager, that, if that stagger had gone off, they would have lost 1,000%. That, that is the scariness of BVL. The fact that you are on Basho Arms with a, with a Pulse Blade or some kind of melee punish, you can do immense amount of damage once you get that stagger up. That was way closer than it looked like. Both the explosive thrower and the Majestic can extend. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good soup damage now that you have AP A little lead. bit of a cheeky soup damage there. This is why Roman brought soups. Roman brought soups ex ex just be just to force people to approach him. I, I think Roman is waiting for him to land so that he could... Oh, no, he's not. Huh. It's hard to pick when to move in on this quad. Like, when is a really good time with these buildings close by? You have three by? threats. The kick, the explosive Thor, and the Majestic. Very, very scary AC from Pillager. And then the missiles at mid to long range. If you run away, missiles hit more accurately. Ooh, good explosive throw usage. Here comes the kick. Majestic Do missing at close range. Robin dodges the kick. Robin dodges the kick, and then dodges dodge everything throw. else. Ooh, big damage Both to the post play, but it's gonna get kicked for it. And the explosive throw, but Roman gets out, of time, gets out in time. But the Majestic, but they're behind the building, so it doesn't matter. Oh! Uh, probably the best time to get staggered at this point. Raman had to reset somehow. That might be enough. That was incredibly good. Oh no! One more Wonder explosive throw. One more it's majestic. Much for Raman to use his pulse blade raw. Yeah, we're getting to that point, but they need a bit more damage. Maybe pulse a charge into pulse explosive blade. Might be just... No, that's what I'm thinking. Like a oh. charge pulse blade. Oh! Raman goes Pillager down. Pillager takes a so game. Rough. Oh my god! Like you were you, you were watching from uh, Raman's perspective, right? You yes, like I was. pillager moving around in the terrain like that is so scary. What the hell, dude? That was incredible. Oh yeah, my that one, God, two, three, four, skill. five could send you into a wall. It could be inconvenient, but if you do it correctly, we're seeing the results. Oh my goodness, this is just mastery of terrain is absolutely showing up here, even on Raman's favorite map. Can the lightweight? That's the real question. Can the lightweight top two? Top two would be insane, but top three is already ridiculous. I mean, top four is already ridiculous. This is a lightweight AC, which is notoriously not done well in the competitive current scene besides Ramen Rook. And JC already got six, so there is another lightweight here that got top, which is incredible. Oh. Ooh, the stack, on high stack. Go, the blade oh, did it. Rock. Second hit gets the blade. punish. They went for it. They went for it. They weren't even staggered. I don't know if that was That's a mistake. Maybe they got lucky, right but maybe, maybe I, I, dude, Ramen is. There's no way. It had. To, it was pure knowledge. I've seen. I've oh. seen Ramen call that out before. Knowing that the first players have the stagger. PAs pop. Hill good just goes PA. down first. Good pulse blade. Very good pulse blade to get that PA down. 100. percent Might as well trade it. You got the shield up anyway. Hill now at a staggered disadvantage, but an AP advantage. Just barely. Resets though. it. This is top four in Blast. Perfect bridge block on those missiles. Raman's mastery of, of this particular bridge is, is quite notable. It's one of the uh, 1v1 rank maps, right? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, Raman got time on this map. Oh, yeah. Playing this bridge like a pro. See, Pillager actually using it well, too. Stagger bar. Pillager, I love how Pillager is hiding the uh, the explosive, the, uh, the Majestic in the explosive door. We haven't talked about that yet, but they, they are like doing the, doing the explosive door out, and while the smoke screen is there, they're then firing off the Majestic. Roman, very close to getting oh, a stagger just here. Barely enough to stagger. I would just go in. Honestly, you have the AP. You should go in. Ooh, the stoop is extending the stagger. Roman needs to get in there. The attitude will cover you we'll kicking any moment now. There it is. Pillager dodging the stoop. Oh, the stagger is gone. Pillager's reset. Maybe pulse blade finisher here. I'm not sure. Again, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Again, like a charge oh, wait, pulse no, no. blade might Seven be the key to victory. Seven seconds I didn't notice. Oh, oh. But the missiles. can Robin. Just. Barely! One second, just barely! 
Dude, if there was just a moment more on the clock, Roman would have gotten hit by the explosive door. 1,000%. Yeah. If there was oh a moment left. This. A Watch, moment. Watch, just adding another layer to the game. Who will make history? Playing around the bridge, both players like it. No contesting the fight playing out right here. Dude, I'm so sad that one of these two oh. players has to go. I love them both. This is incredible. I know, they're so amazing. Ooh, the Majestic doing major damage to Ramen there. Here we see him scooting right around that bridge, in and out, in and out. Ooh, the explosive door con connecting. There's a Majestic. Majestic oh, does really not find a home. really good combo from Pillager. From Pillager on AP advantage. But on Stagger disadvantage. Let's see if it'll swing. Needs to make the combo happen. Ooh. Needs to hit anything. Pillager just avoided all that damage for like 40 seconds. Yeah. Well, they're just doing heck? an excellent job preventing getting staggered. Roman has to make a big play here. One minute left on the clock. Ooh, there it is. There's the big play I was talking about. Single hit. Doesn't go for the second. Smart. Oh, Ooh, my God. Punish during the animation. Little, just barely too late. Today, but basically just like... Mid like, pick! Pillager very close to being staggered here. There's the explosive Thor. Roman going in, trying to get that build up. X Magazine needs to make it happen. Watch him this jump out. Go for chance. it. The stagger is really high up. As the recovery is popping up, it's very difficult. Come on, has to go in. The, oh, that quick boost is perfectly timed. Is beautiful here. A very yeah, small amount of damage. Yeah, in the middle of the magazine. Avoided all the damage. And there. there it is. And Robin takes it. There it is. Robin right. is cracked. He's a goddamn tectonic shift. Well done to both players. Pillager, you better enter the next one. Pillager, I better see you. I better see you at every every tournament from now on. That was More insane. Well, on, you are an amazing player. I know, I know Raman's gonna be here because Raman's addicted to Armored Core 6, but Pillager, I better see you again. <laughs> Let's see, Raman Rook versus Aphrodite. The one winged angel. Let's see if Roman can pull it out against this monster of an SL LCB, tank LCB tank. So we did see them on stream earlier and Raman actually did very, very well against the Aphrodite tank, but Aphrodite just landed one too many kicks on them, really calling out their movement. And again, Aphrodite is an incredibly good player. So you gotta keep yep, in mind- so Aphrodite's gotta be patient with the shots and Aphrodite's build's got threat at all ranges. Like missile lock range is where the fun begins. So these players, missiles are gonna be going back and forth, but the lightweight has better dodging tools. AP lead on Raman's side, that's huge. Yeah. Afro has yeah, to come to definitely, them. Like, because of the soup uh, and the superior speed, Aphrodite definitely will always have to engage. LCB's yeah, fired. there's no way to avoid them all. Ooh, the LCB oh, connected! Boy. The LCB's fully connected. Ooh, but decent damage on Raman's side. Dodging the LCBs Avoids again. that LCB. AP advantage still in Aphrodite's favor after all that. Mm -hmm. That's tanks for you. Extremely It bulky. makes sense, like, well, it, it makes sense because, like, Raman Rook got staggered that, that whole time. Uh-huh, uh, that Yeah, Aphrodite yeah, was yeah, able yeah. to avoid one pulse play through the PA. Oh, very good! Jesus, like, Aphrodite's just so good at this peekaboo game. Dude, oh, that counter they lined up the rather. frame that Raman was in view. Those LCBs were fired. We see Raman trying to fake it out now, boosting out, boosting back. Just trying to get those hands on cooldown so he can work. The second this LCB starts going on, it's Raman's time to play. Raman can even this up with just a... stagger happen. That magazine won't do it. Raman try, trying, to, trying to time their stagger here. Very and there well it done. Is. The soup's help. Big damage from Ramen. Still Damn, no but AP the tankiness lead, but we're in only lethal does territory. around 45% damage. Damn. Ramen needs one more stagger now. 30 seconds to work with. One direct shot and it's over. Yep. And we're that close. 30 seconds or one shot. Ooh, there was that shot. Ooh, but it did not connect. Great avoid. movement on Ramen's part. After that, he half, energy half back. stagger. Now, something you have to keep in mind that while when Aphrodite is kicking, they can. Oh, Robin living on 1 AP! This is a bit more staggered! There it is! Robin takes the first phase! Eight seconds on the clock, 100 AP in the tank. Major AP, holy shit! <laughs> 1, one AP three. and a dream! No! Never give up. Way, dude. Never give up! Yes, holy thank you. Christ. Never give up, indeed. No way! Wow. Let's watch. I'm gonna watch this from the tanks view now and see what it's like I trying can't. to catch this my light on the peaks. Are, my eyes are glued to ramen screen. I feel like chat would lynch me if I swapped. It's it's so much to watch. Like this <laughs> threat from this tank. Both hits oh, come in after the stagger. Big damage from ramen. 
Ramen can kite now. Ramen can run. Ramen yeah, can like run. Just... Yeah. Stay out of that Acellus range. But that's never been Roman style so to something like, that Roman's like doing run away here, I, I just too, picked, too long. I just picked up on this. So what Roman's doing here is that when, when Aphrodite is assault boosting, they can't shoot the LCBs. So the second they, they see them go for a kick, they are risking getting hit by it, but going in for those Vientos. Yeah, because they know during that animation there's no shooting. Huge damage Double on Roman. laser those eats the that shield. is absolutely gone already. But those Both LCBs are now shield no, they're back. They're back now. We're going to watch out for them. Actually, LCBs actually just come off with them. I, I was not familiar with that information, uh, animation. Robin, one stagger away from winning this. 50 seconds on the clock with an AP Those lead high stagger on Aphrodite. I'm doing so well. Robin nearly untouched, but the lasers hit. Oh, but this barely missed the pulse blade. Really that enough. could be huge. Robin recognized the bug. Robin saw the bug happen and no, just No, no, no. The bug can't happen it with Aphrodite's AC. I'm sorry, Aphrodite, it was the, Aphrodite, the drop. The bug can't happen. Yeah, the drop. No, no, that was kick tech, yeah. I misspoke. Yeah, so they, they saw the drop and they went, nope, I am not getting shot by LCBs. <laughs> Ramen See, it takes really, so now, the first that was phase. Not tank yes, bug, that was kick tech. So if yes. you get uh, staggered while you're doing a kick during any point in the animation, you're just going to keep falling and stop moving sideways. Yeah, Which yeah, is going to make a blade hit in the air or miss in the air. And it's true that to play BBO, you have to be at the absolute top of your performance, but Aphrodite like Aphrodite, only needs one or two solid shots to eliminate mm -hmm. Ramen Rook from existence. Ramen just has to slip up a few times. But Soup's Aphrodite doing taking, more work, taking as usual. all of those soups hit. Dude, Soup is so good on BBO. Leave My it to goodness. Ramen to find so this innovation. It's lower targets. It's got good numbers. That's yeah, very good numbers, I agree. LCB coming out. There it is. Ramen dodges it. Oh, all those Vientos connecting, though. PA, PA. Swap to Afro. Swap to Afro. Oh, you're right, 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 you're right, right. I'm swapping to Afro. Swapping to Afro. Sorry about that. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Tank POV against the angel, the darting Vientos. So it's not come around. Nope. Kicking into cover, using it like the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the Water Strider. Afro's right in the cover. Afro still an AP lead. It's pretty dang important here. Oh, really good oh. snipe with those LCBs. Good lord. Ramen needs to be very careful before proceeding. Yep. Proceed with caution. We are now in the danger zone. One shot territory. For oh Ramen. no, he keeps eating those. Both Aphrodite does hit. get punished, but still has the HP lead. Ramen popping PA to get PA advantage here. Trying to, trying does to Aphrodite engage, still have PA? No, Aphrodite <laughs> lost it, and there it is. What is this? Wow! <laughs> what? Ramen takes it. See, that that's, a, a, that's a very strong, strong thing that, that BVO players can do is that they can they can pop PA and, and just press the advantage really really hard. No, I'm not. I'm swapping the Afro. Yep, go full. Uh, another tank. another. I'm going full tank this match. Yeah. And I'll go. And I'll go. Uh, I'll alternate thing, next time. Uh... Yeah, another thing I noticed about Aphrodite, uh, I mean, not Aphrodite, about Ramen is that like he flies directly over Aphrodite to dodge, and that makes the shoulder cannons unable to target him from mm -hmm. that angle. Like directly above is where most weapons cannot hit you, especially shoulder weapons. Mm -hmm. Directly above and then directly below for shoulder cannons. Directly yeah, 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 exactly. Look at that, no, exactly, we're... just like that, just like that. I think most close attacker, there it is. Big damage from Ramen. And Roman not even hit yet. Roman hasn't been touched yet. Can we talk about that for a moment? Roman's That's how Roman games go. When they're really going good, you just watch Roman go untouched for a minute or Beast more. It's, it's something to watch. Uh, Afro basically starting at half AP here. Oh, yep, they're now at even AP. Wonderful shot by Aphrodite. But one big slip up in the LCBs takes so much, so much of his health. Roman getting Afro Lots the pop PA. PA there. That's huge. Roman now has PA advantage. Scooting right over this building, back and forth. Is Aphrodite Risa? No. <laughs> different players. Yeah, no, that's completely different players. No, no, Yes no. and no. <laughs> yes and no. What? Dropping <laughs> into joking, cover. Aphrodite still listening to AP lead. 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, those... The, 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 those Looks like Aphrodite Aphrodite. hit! Yup, in oh. before. That's the thing, you've got oh, that the vulnerability. The gone period. already! Yeah, LCBs are kind of insane, and there we go! What and a solid hit Ramen from Aphrodite so finished that round! Look at Aphrodite's stagger bar. Ramen was so close. Yep, it's a matter of inches.
<laughs> Dude, I'm just smiling. Like I'm just, I'm having a good time. This is yeah, awesome. Sometimes I just look at my screen and I'm just watching. Yeah, I, it's it's honestly kind of hard to commentate because I'm just like enthralled, you know. Yeah, sometimes they do things that I'm like struggling to put together in my mind while it's oh, happening. This is the stagger oh, opportunity. opportunity by Robin. No. That is incredibly unfortunate, but it's, like, honestly, like it, it just look, let's look at their AP. It's about similar. Look at how Robin hopped up on the building and then oh, fell geez. right off. There's the stagger, pulse armor. Big damage, but turn pulse hmm, armor. But that PA is gonna be eaten up by LCBs because your hitbox does get bigger. Vientos do the same. Both players no shield. That's a good point. Didn't think about that. Oh After boy. trying to Aphrodite do kick tech. In the danger zone. Roman has to time it so so Aphrodite is not kicking. Roman's, Roman's directly under the There is Roman the between the kicks. Excellent, but it's not the HP lead. Uh, but Roman got they all, ate all of those MLT 04s. Roman pressed up against the wall there. Oh, oh. Roman has to get the stagger. Roman is a will end it now. death. LCBs have to miss her. So oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Aphrodite oh, takes the anyway. phase. It is one hey, one what gamers. Cool angle. Yeah, Aphrodite God. like knows how to angle the like the shots now, like to, so that's more diagonal instead of like directly above or under. I think that's I think uh, Aphrodite's starting to adapt to Raman trying to constantly go under and over. Mm -hmm. I'm so moving I'm so, in response before firing. I'm so glad to check yeah. out for not being on Afro POV because we really saw how good Afro's movement is there. Okay, we're back on watch point Delta A. That Raman was able to clutch this one out. Pretty well on on, Zyla, on uh, watch point A. Because this yep, bridge has been so nice for them. Yep, we see Raman falling into position right on the bridge as soon as the fight starts. AP lane on Raman's side. LCBs, here they come. Oh, getting caught on the bridge! Only one managed to reach around. Missiles keep the stagger up. Aphrodite now getting into the danger zone a little bit here. It's going to be missiles plus Viento. Ooh, right. very, very no. close to your stagger. There it is. Ramen can cook. Perfect pulse armor. Hitting it early oh, this Robin time instead of eating a pulse armor. the LCPs. That was ridiculous. Ooh. Ramen has the AP lead. Ramen now dictates the entire uh, pace of the match and has PA advantage. They have their expansion still. Everybody just used theirs. Great awareness getting out of the assault boost to dodge the MLT force. Moving right around him. LCP's the LCP. Gonna there come it is. Out, dodges it. Ramen playing Puts out of their right mind. Puts him right into the block. There's that big P that's another big pulse blade with the soup to detach on the bit more damage. That's a healthy AP lead, but again, it's gonna swing quickly if anything happens. Moving around the wow, bridge now, the perfect bridge circular strats. movement. The orbit. <laughs> the orbit, that's perfect. Yeah, we see this still like. No one can play oh, this the bridge LCBs. as well as Raman can. Raman stayed, Raman stayed in, and despite Raman that, stayed in one spot hits. for too long. And got the LCB, yeah. but remember, Roman still has PA. They still have that huge advantage. I would pop it soon, but it is. Doesn't need it. Left. Doesn't need it. Finishes that round. Didn't even need their no expansion. No one is as good. That is ridiculous. No. Didn't even pop it. Yeah, no one is as good as playing the bridge as much as Roman is. B Holy BV crap. BVO is a wonderful place now, and Roman is the flagship for that. There have been a lot of jokes of like, oh, I beat Ramen, so I'm now the best lightweight player. But no, there is there are very few people on this planet that can play BVO like Roman can into the counters, into things that are supposedly tough to take on. Or, it takes a or firm understanding of the build to win a losing matchup. stat check, as some people say. Aphrodite even joking about how uh, Robin was going to get stat checked, and yet here we are now. Yep, it is truly going to be But it's not quite over yet. Aphrodite can't can still turn this around, though. He, that was just a got kick staggered. bug right there. If there's, if there's one person on a tank that can beat Robin Rook, it's Afro. Afro was yes, one it's the, Afro. Afro is one of the best players that we have. Period. We saw there that uh, the tank got staggered and they had oh, a kick going, but the they fell right to the ground. A raw. Unreal. MPA advantage is still in Raman's favor. Oh, but the, the, the hit the LCB. Raman needs to pop PA now. Aphrodite is just so good with those LCBs. My oh, goodness. Oh, there it oh, is. Raman never used PA, did he? I don't think Raman used PA. I don't think so. I don't remember. All right. Well, <laughs> it's going to go down to the third fight here. Phase three of game three. Here we that are. That checker, not stat. Yeah, the stat checker, no. Aphrodite's not gonna let, like, just take this lying down. We have to remember that both these player, excellent players, are adapting to each other constantly. Oh yeah. I know we talk about Labat Raman, but Aphrodite's still like one of the best players in the world. Period. It's like, yeah, lightweights are really fun and really fun to watch, but Aphrodite is Aphrodite. We have to keep that in mind. Look at. 
Okay, so Aphrodite on AP lead. We're dancing around the bridge. A bit of stagger, yeah, but not enough to get into the damage. danger zone yet. Oh my god, how did he dodge that? Ooh, big yep, this, might, this is definitely Aphrodite's. This is this is Aphrodite's game. Yup, it's gonna yeah. take a ramen miracle here. Caught ramen just a few times. Yeah. But... Ramen chooses to play this a bit more patiently, knowing that like it'll be easy to bait him out. Mm -hmm. Look at that! Look at that LCB like bait. Ooh, big big oh, charge LCB! You charged. can go in right now. Dude, oh Roman no, Roman should have gone in! Disengage. Maybe Ron didn't release it with no. another fully charged. Roman could, have, Roman could have gone very much so in there. The reason why Afro did is that the, the projectile actually gets bigger whenever you charge it. That's why Afro went yep. for that. You just trade downtime for it. That's really the downside for having the wide projectile. Mm -hmm. You want to take advantage of that overheat. Otherwise, they're on a short cooldown like the LCA. Oh my god, the movement! The LCS. Look at the Roman class. dodging at everything like a madman! <laughs> Missiles. There's the pulse blade! I was worried those missiles might come from behind. Robin has to go in. Robin has yeah. to go in and dodge like a madman. It's 17 only seconds, 16 seconds. seconds left. Aphrodite playing cover smartly here. That is a yeah, dangerous no, corner right game. now. Roman has it's to... impossible. Roman has to realize it. Oh my god. Oh, they pop PA way too, way too late. If they had pop PA earlier, they could have won that very easily. That's it. Yeah. All right. But we Aphrodite, are now two to one like, in the best of three. Huge misplay. Aphrodite up 2-1. Now, did Roman win on I think Roman won. No, Roman only won on uh, Watch One Delta A, correct? Or did they win uh, on this, match, this map? I forget. The, I believe it was this map. No? I think so. I can't remember. Chat will correct me. Ooh, very well, very well lined up LCBs from, uh, from Aphrodite there. Ooh, amazing kick! That was ridiculous! Roman Aphrodite forced the, forced up the PA there. Excellently. Roman did it in the side. Roman avoiding those LCBs. You know, in this matchup, I almost, I almost like Roman wish, Rock probably wishes he had assault armor instead. The amount of no, times definitely he was not. So close no, to no, 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 no. That, that, was, that no. would not stun Aphrodite's tank. That only has 2,000 yeah. impact. Oh, you it would actually oh yeah, that's it. right. And then fire LRPs. That's right. and yeah, and then they, just, they would just die. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Never mind, man, you're don't fine, listen fine, to me. <laughs> if AA was good, then yes. But A is bad. Yeah. We see Aphrodite on high stagger. Aphrodite's, is the Aphrodite's very close to being staggered. There it is. And there's the pulse blade. Big damage from Roman. Last shots from the Viento Mag managing to secure the stagger there. Roman very dodging the LCBs. That would work. Roman has HP lead. You could just hang back and let the soups do the work. Yeah. The only thing you have to worry I about this I think on this map, see. that's what you do. Yeah, one thousand yeah. percent. You uh, hold, you hold S and you chill. God tier at like this, FCS. This, this, this should Ooh. be Ramen's map because it's that so massive smart. and the, the oh, suits the out completely. Ramen oh, making a oh huge God, misplay there. Then he turns that around. No, Ramen let him get too close. Oh, that map edge. Oh I, I wonder if uh, Ramen just got caught by the map edge there. Maybe. Maybe. All right, Aphrodite POV. Right through that wreck. Ooh, Afro getting in, taking Robin. all these soups. Throwing at them? Oh, yeah, they definitely seem light way. A few missiles connected on Ramen. Ramen still has AP lead, Ramen's though. Ramen's cornered. Here come the LCBs. LCBs whiffed. A bit too wide there. Yep, Ramen forced yeah. a hard turn there on the torso. Excellent dog by Ramen. There's the oh, double dodge again, one ooh, way than the other. PA is activated. Roman only taking one of those LCBs, which means they have PA advantage. They can push, very, they can push forward very easily with that PA. HP is completely equal at the moment. No, it is not. Roman is losing. Roman is losing P yep. uh, AP really? advantage. Yep. Yeah, look Aphrodite at the arrow. Oh. By about 50. Ooh, LCB again connecting. After getting out of here. This will be Roman's last phase. Roman has to pop Good PA soon. There. I would not save it for later. Robin Aphrodite has not resetting. Use PA last time cost them the game. Yep. Oh, There's the stagger. Pulse oh, blade gets both hits. Pulse armor. Robin's going for it. Robin's going for All the kill. Offense. Yeah, this has to be it. Yeah, Next if it's not here, it's never. There it is. There it is. Pulse oh. blade. 
Oh, oh they, did a, they did a large. They messed up so badly. They did a, they did a charge attack oh, instead of the regular oh, attack. Was the charge attack? That's so well unfortunate. Well played by Aphrodite. Where's my second swing? I think you charged it, Ramen. Aphrodite managed to weather that storm at the end. Wow. Yes, indeed. And Aphrodite well takes it. Both one three. Players. And now we have the LCB tank ditto. These two are friends that made the same tank build, brought it to the same tournament, and now face each other off in the top two. Yep, it is time. This is the LCB tank. All hail the LCB tank. Time for the movement battle. Who's going to move in the tank? Striker, you better be playing some final boss music right now. Like I'm playing, final, I'm like, playing Armored Core for music. Answer Remember, my favorite Armored Core track. Yes, you can't stop me. good, good. You cannot stop me. This is the grand finals theme. Uh, na, da, na. All hail our lord and savior, LCB tank. We will play you until you are nerfed in 1.06. <laughs> With them humping the air for that air time. Humping the air? Yep. The kick, the kick. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> Welcome to World There's of Tanks, There's a specific tanks, camera games. movement that goes along with it. You know, you <laughs> the tanks collide mid-air. Aphrodite, taking Aphrodite major damage actually the misses the LCB. Oh my gosh, but Kain has to force PA early. Yeah, but Aphrodite's health is at 35, 40%. Kain lining up these LCBs wonderfully. Oh, but their LCBs are on cooldown. Aphrodite can really go in now, especially with their PA. Look at the sh movement here. The, the assault boosting, the kicking up and down. Carefully trying to drift around these shots. Oh, can he turn oh, us around? Damage. Oh, with the kick! Those LCBs whiffed. Didn't line it up properly, but still. No way! How did Aphrodite <laughs> turn that around? <laughs> At the beginning of that match, Aphrodite unfortunately hit the cliffs with the uh, L with this LCBs, but turned that around somehow, and I can't even tell you why. Holy well, they were crap. down 30% AP and brought it back. Way more than two tanks Amazing. entered, uh, people. I believe, I believe four tanks entered the tournament, and only two got the top two. These are just the two best tank players. Yes, indeed. Do not be fooled that th this is the. Oh! Do not be fooled. These two are amazing tank players. You cannot get this oh far just by having a build. <laughs> yeah, this is this, this comes down to player skill. If you put Aphrodite me up against on high stagger, if you, punished. If you put Ooh. me up against one of these two in the same build, I I will be demolished. <laughs> Aphrodite got huge punished. The LCBs Ooh. landed like four times in well, a row there. That was brutal. yeah, well played by Kaine. That that was completely Kaine's game. <laughs> two tanks under, two tanks lead because they have too much health and cannot kill each other. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh chat, make God. sure you remind me to swap POVs. Ooh, trying to get an early snipe with that manual aim OCB. I respect it. Ooh, good kick. Aphrodite gets a kick, but it's unfortunately in the completely opposite direction to fire the LCBs. All right, kind on the advantage here. You can kind of keep it. Ooh, the good kick, kick lands. Kick also canceling out the charge from the LCB. Ooh, Aphrodite is done. Stagger. Wonderful kick there. This might be it for Aphrodite. There it is. And Kind takes the first round in our World of Tanks Grand Finals. <laughs> world of Tanks. Kind. We have an M1. A we have a traditional M1 Abrams versus a model <laughs> kit. A model <laughs> kit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's like really pretty, you know, like, but an M1 Abrams, like, it's colored actually that, like, really that brown. This really is the That's... armor and armored core, isn't it? I know, right? It just truly is the armorist of cores. <laughs> the most armored of cores. <laughs> yep. When you armor your core and they hate you for it. <laughs> I just oh God, read the right? box. Tanks get, tanks get so much hate and they are literally as armored as cores get. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> This is real armored core. Ooh, Ooh big Kai damage. Gets... Aphrodite is still AP deficit, but Aphrodite, yep. Ooh, Aphrodite has to make a, has to make do with this. Very beautiful. Oh, the LCBs movement. though. A beautiful. Oh, this from might Kine. be Kind's game. Ooh, big kick, and the LCBs land. Kind is oh. just dancing around Aphrodite. My. Goodness. Kind of really proving who has the best movement here. This is kind of wild. This is such a massive difference between the first match I saw against these two, where Aphrodite yeah. seemed like the clear winner in skill, with the, but like Kind is completely adapted. Wow. 
This is beautiful. Kind of close match. Uh -huh. uh, I kind of a close. I get it. I understand. I get the joke. Good joke. Thank I respect you, you Dark Dark, for your epic joke. I had to get it done. I only have like a minute and forty six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true. Ooh, good damage on Afro there. Afro might be tired from fighting ramen. Honestly, yeah, I should have waited five minutes like I said I would. I apologize, gamers. Oh damn, we forgot about that. Yeah, fuck. I forgot. I will, uh, I'll keep that in mind for next time. I'll write it on my notes. Ooh, punishing that really, really hard. Oh, Aphrodite just ate it. Oh, dear. We got in the back of this is grand finals, Maple. Oh, those LCBs from downtown, good night thing. Aphrodite can actually fully turn this around. Oh, the manual aim does the not. The LCBs hit. whiffed? How? How did those LCBs what? whiff? What? It only takes Long one range. extra shot to die from here on. Oh, the what? missiles cover. The missiles finish it. Holy crap. Wow. Right around the cover. Aphrodite's not going to go down easy, if at all. Let's see. Phase three of match two. Of game two. The missile knows where it is, because it knows where it isn't. It's true. And now it definitely knows where it is. The wall. <laughs> the wall! Ooh, that kick is perfect! Ooh, beautiful kick! Aphrodite misses his kick! Kai misses his kick, too! Where they're going! Did Kai not get hit once? Holy crap! I can't do the nanoboss, it's already started, I can't stop it now. Ooh, big damage! Oh my god, dude, they, they were to be kind cool. maneuvered their tank above Afro's tank and like skate, like freaking grinded like a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> and that's the same dodge that works so well against these bad cannons right over the head. I wonder how many points that was worth. Ooh! Ooh. Kine Kick takes LCB. a second game, I believe, right? Uh, yes, Kine is now 2 0. Yeah, PX for me. Um, I do agree with that. LCB is ridiculous. And the fact that you can mm. run, uh, It'll... like, it can, it can easily run VE20A is insane. <laughs> or VE20B, uh, <laughs> VE sorry. Yep. Wide projectiles, fast projectiles. Mm. We know it. They're it very is good quite right now. ridiculous. Anyway, Previously, here we are. you'd see the LCS in this role for this, you know, similar reasons. They just don't have the wide projectile. Pine takes to the sky to the top building. Runs out of energy? Oh no! Didn't get, decides to engage Aphrodite. Ooh. Cancelled the charge to use light shots here in the brawl. I can't. Uh, Emil, banning banning things is not a good idea. I've, I've decided because the thing is like. These players are going to be competing in, like, there's so many other tournaments that happen here. I'm kind of the only person who really does them for the most part. Uh, but the issue with banning things is that you are asking players to play, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours of this current patch. It, also, if that was true GM Burst, then out of Shea would be good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the amazing not. ambush! Yeah, that was wonderful. But the thing is, the issue with banning stuff is that players are already used to LCB. Like, Robin was able to dodge them that many times because they're used to dodging them, because they've played against them so many times. If I banned LCB, a completely different meta would happen. Completely different meta would happen. Which is why I ultimately went back on the Born Mesa ban, because it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, plus, it, like, if you, if, you did, if you did ban those that part, we wouldn't be having this exact match. Exactly, we wouldn't see this incredible tight movement right now, which is awesome. And the tank I, players requires... Yeah, if sorry, this is the going. best build of 1.05, so be it. We'll get a patch in about a month. Yeah, and there'll be completely meta. And no I, I don't mean to, like, always be the old gen guy, but, like, the best build in AC4 Answer, the best player in AC4 Answer PvP, is a tank, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, armored uh, Core, like, you know, has always been about Armored Core, I guess. <laughs> I disagree, I, because no. that means you can take a lot more hits from L Like, LCB just does so much damage. Is that per that perfect midpoint between LCA and LCS? Ruin. It has that. Oh, it has oh, just oh, enough stability oh. damage. Kine is absolutely moving. I'm sorry we didn't talk about the match, but good lord, I did not expect to. I did not expect it to be over so soon. Kine is playing out their mind right now with this movement. Oh, good kick from Afro though. Afro on the the and there it around, is. That's it. Just not enough, ladies and gentlemen. Her champion. <laughs> the Kine. Kine. The M1 Abrams tank. Coral L LCV, <laughs> I'm down. Give it to me. Why not? GG. That's the game, everybody. We've done it.
GG. Tournament over. Kind wins. And because, again, I want to shout out Puppy Rescue Dad for tripling the prize pool. It was $50 because we're doing these every other weekend now. So I wanted to kind of cut back on the huge prize pool and stuff like that. Well, not huge, but you know what I mean. Um, it was a $50 tournament, but now it's $150. And I need, y'all, I need PayPal's from Ramen Rook, Afro, and Kind, please. Dude, shouts out. I, I, I want to shout out, like, two different players real quick that did not make it to top Ooh. three one is pillager who i better see again or i'm gonna be really mad and the other is lord farquaad which i want to see do I, 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 that sounds mean but i want to see i want to see lord far I, we didn't get lord farquaad on stream but they got top eight anyway. yeah i, I, I want to see is i want to see a freaking lord, lord farquaad is a menace and i want to see them back again because we didn't we said they didn't get him on stream i honestly i'll be real I didn't grab Farquaad earlier because I thought Farquaad was going to, like, get to top four, like, guaranteed, so... Yeah, I didn't want to duplicate <laughs> too many times. Yeah, Farquaad's fantastic, so I want to see Farquaad again, I want to see Pillager again, I want to see all of you back again in two weeks.